Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll. Oh, we've got such a brilliant two hours. Yep. Two hours live, two hours live lined up for you. Um, because basically we've got a really, 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 really special Sunday. Um, I really, really, really want a zig a zig. Ah, that's what I was going for. Really, really, I don't know why I'm singing that. I'm a bit delirious, I think. We're on what day, how many? Luckily, luckily, we've got a new presenter. It's so exciting to welcome John J. Cole Morgan to the studio today. I, I am going to bring him in in a minute. I'm going to bring him in in a minute. Um, he's, he's just nipped out just to prepare himself uh, because he's a slightly nervous. I just want to, uh, to encourage all of your lovely messages. Keep them coming in because I know that they've been filling him with love and confidence. He's been so looking forward to today's show and reading all of your comments and your messages over the last few days have really meant a lot to him. So please do send in your messages via our Facebook page. Now I know that we have the fan page, but please send them to the Sewing Street official page. That's how you uh, you find it on Facebook. And um, yeah, we can read them all out to John on air. Uh, and, and I want to also encourage any questions that you might have for him. He's got a wealth of knowledge, especially with quilting, as you can probably see. These are all his quilts as well around me. We've got low, he's brought in so much to show you, uh, so much to, to, um, to show us. And he's got loads of tips, uh, loads, of, um, loads of hints and tips to, to share with us as well, which is gonna be lovely. And lots of uh, his favorite products, which we're gonna be bringing over the next couple of hours. Uh, so before, I'll bring him in. There's a couple of ways of watching and buying, one of which is on our website. Now, at the moment, we are using part of our sister channel, Jewelry Makers website, as we're still brand new, we're still brand new, uh, and we're working on our new flashy website at the minute. So, uh, as I say, we are using Jewelry Makers, but if you type in sewingstreet.com, uh, there it is, Paul, there's your cue, sewingstreet.com. Um, if Oh, sorry, at sewingstreet.com, and that is the way of, of purchasing and watching as well on air. And of course, you're going to want to watch the next few hours because welcome to your new home, John. Thank you very much. I'm How so excited. It's so, so lovely to oh. welcome you here. It feels like you're just instantly part of the family. Over the last couple yes. of weeks, it's been lovely to but get to know you. But hasn't the feedback been amazing? Everybody's been so kind. Oh. Thank you all so much. It means so much to me. <laughs> Starting new ventures is always hard, yeah. but when you feel so welcome, how can you not feel lovely? And especially when, you know, you're you're very, very comfortable in, in what you're doing. This isn't yes. a new world to you, is it? No, but uh, this uh, is. <laughs> 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 the telly world is, and presenting world is slightly a bit new to you, but in terms of in terms of sewing, I mean, this is uh, this is something. Well, this and, is and, my life. And the social side of oh, it as well. Oh, fantastically so. I've been so lucky that the amazing group of women that I get to sew with every week, they're just incredible. So tell us about yourself. Tell us about your background. I know that there's a lot of messages that have been coming in. The, the quilts that are surrounding me, they're uh, your quilts, I'd aren't they? here. <laughs> yes. We've got loads. I'm absolutely, I cannot stop. I try and make about a, a quilt every 10 days, every week. Gosh. And I just can't stop because I see another pattern and I'm like, oh, I've got to make it. And that book over there that I'm going to show you later, there's at least eight patterns in there I've got to do. <laughs> so that's my next two weeks sorted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well, let's start from the beginning. Where did this addiction start? So I, I was in a terrible car crash about 15 years oh. ago. So I've got problems with my hands and my back and that. So being recovering for so long took ages to do and I was bored stiff. So I tried to do everything crafty because right. boys, you know, you're not normally meant to do the crafty things. So I did the knitting and the crochet, which I still love. Yeah. But in 2014, I got a sewing machine and stared at it for about four months thinking, how the hell do you use that? And then went and learned how to do patchwork and I went uh, in May of 2014 to mm -hmm. a patchwork class in London and I read a book called Crazy Quilting and you took all these amazing tiny little pieces of fabric and yes. tiny little pieces and I just thought oh my gosh this is amazing and as all new quilters do I decided oh it's a quilt, little old ladies make it, must be easy. Well, was I in for a shock. And it's, I just, the first quilt I made was um, 100 inches square. Wow. And I literally shoved it through the world's smallest sewing machine, which cost 79 quid. And it's hideous, I, absolutely <laughs> you awful. you still got it now. It's my favorite quilt I've ever made, yeah. I love it. And my husband, bless him, he turned around, and he looked at the quilt and went, oh, that's well done, darling, well done. But do you think we should perhaps get you some lessons before you waste any more fabric? 
he will be buried in that quilt. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, and then it was just absolutely, completely addicted to it. And I have read every book going, every magazine going. I've tried every pattern that I can think of. Can't do curves. Still can't do curves, but we'll get there. We'll learn together. Exactly. We will learn together. There's so many messages for you. Oh, Sue no. is saying hello, hello John. Sue. Betsy saying welcome, oh. John, as well. Michelle saying welcome, John. Lots of comments on your shirt. Love my, it's my husband's shirt. All the shirts are my husband's. Are they? <laughs> That's good show wardrobe. It's lovely, very colourful. Uh, Sally Ann Harrison, who's actually a quilter as well, she says, looking forward, looking forward to seeing all of your quilts oh, as well. We've got loads to show you over the next couple. What I love about it is you've got the website and I've got friends in Canada who have woken up at four in the morning to watch oh, the show. Oh, we've got to say hello, hello to them. Hello in Jeanette Canada. Jeanette and Shira and we're Tracy. Global. Hello. Does that mean we're international? And that's what it is. They've gone on the website and they've gone on to uh, sewingstreet.com and you can watch it live from there yeah. as well and, and on, on YouTube, YouTube which is great. So anywhere in the world you can watch it. We love you already. We love you. Uh, but they do. So tell me about your accent. Where is it that you're actually from? So I was born in Zimbabwe. I lived in South Africa for 20 years odd years wow and i've been here now 19 years oh, so it's brilliant. almost half and half yeah but i think i'll always be a south african yeah who, who was it who taught you to sew myself. did you just you just, just myself went. i went to this i went to one or two classes and then i just made many many really really ugly quilts yeah. that are just awful but that's how you learn and that's how you practice have you ventured into any other different mediums like dressmaking or have you tried to make any bags, quilted bags even? I, I think I, I, with the quilting and I saw how wrong it went, I thought I'd rather pay somebody for the shirts because they're <laughs> going to do a really nice job and I'm going to be mortified if I waste the fabric on that. It's, I, I, I love bag making. Yeah. I'm not very good at it at all. But I'm just, everything, the quilting has completely absorbed me. So that's why I'm just absolutely addicted to it. I know so many people that have started quilting or picked up the sewing machine who may have been dressmakers or bag makers, and like you say, but you just can do both. Completely addicted. Exactly, and that's what we love about the community. So many messages coming through. Go on, Hannah. Hello, Karen. Karen's message in this morning. She said, "Good morning, Hello, Vicky. Karen. Hello, and welcome, John." Thank you. She says she's still in bed. Oh, oh gosh, isn't Sunday that a morning. nice thing to be doing? Jeez. I hope someone's bringing you breakfast and coffee. Oh, yes. Will someone bring us breakfast and coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Although, no, I do have my, uh, my, my coffee down here. It's and terrible. John's I keep saying to her, do me. not spill that on my quilts. Anyway, <laughs> you will be remaking it and I will be watching you. So I was like, okay, I'll put the coffee away. But Karen said, um, what a great way to be spending a Sunday morning. Um, it's two hours this morning, so you're not going to be getting up till 11 o'clock. I Good. hope you're no... Quite no, right. <laughs> Absolutely, sounds perfect for a Sunday. It sounds perfect for um, for a Sunday. So, should we start having a look at some yes. of these quilts? Because we so, want to dive in. We, um, which one do you want to show? Well, should we do this one first? Yes. Because I am You're the pre world's worst binder. I absolutely hate binding. Did you see the demonstration the other day with Victoria? I did. I love it a bit more now, but I'm very cheeky because these amazing women that I sew oh, wow. with. Oh, wow. I've got an amazing friend called Sylvia. And what I do is I do this exact thing and I buy hundreds of these wonder clips because I absolutely love them. <laughs> and you mark the binding out like this and you put your little clips on and you do them sort of every inch, inch and a half. But this is 50, so it's just over one end. You can see it's gone to that side. Oh, so there. you've put them all on, a whole so pack? A whole pack of 50 on. It's gone on. straight in. <laughs> But what you do is then, if you're really cheeky like me, what you do is you leave it in your studio, and the next time Sylvia comes round, you fold it up and you have it in a bag, and you, and you get a little box of chocolates in there, and you say, darling, just take that home and finish binding it for me. <laughs> and she looks at me and goes, are you serious? I'm like, of course I am, and she does. Oh, <laughs> you know, so it's just perfect. <laughs> so you're getting this ready now for Sylvia. So everybody needs to have a Sylvia in their life, that is for sure. Are you watching Sylvia? She will be, yes, bless her. And, but, but these quilting clips, I cannot rave about them enough because these are the wonder clips by Clover and we do the you, you put them on and you just leave them on mm -hmm. and you, you could put your binding on as and when you like in front of the telly and when you're ready to go you just pop them off and put them in the back in the box. Uh, John there's so many people on the community who use these for lots of different things yes. as well like your toothpaste you know when yes, you need to. <laughs> very much so. Very I much think, so. What was Victoria Carrington what did she say that she uses it for? 
Um, oh, didn't she, she say for her earphones when she's having a jog, she puts her earphones, what a clips clever it idea. onto her tongue. I don't know about that though, I don't know about jogging. This morning I thought, oh, why yes, am I stuck in that. traffic? And it was the Warwick, <laughs> it was the Warwick half marathon today, and I was eating three rich tea biscuits as my breakfast. Other Watching breakfast. all the people truck by. Yes. How wonderful. Yes. One way to do it. I thought, my word, my son is very different to yours, but I, I might start a bit of jogging this year. So, one don't, clips it, no. Don't, don't. so. Yeah. <laughs> So, pack of 50 Wonder Clips, multicoloured as well, 28 99 But you've got the smaller one as well. Yeah, so you, you can do Because if you just want to do smaller in. ones, you can just do them as a pack of 10. Because they are, they're really handy. You just, you sew that little bit and then you pick the clip up and you go on. I suppose it stops you, uh, it, 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 it is a lot less time consuming than pinning. But also, not every fabric sort of lends itself exactly. to pin. So if you're using a, a PU or a leather Completely or something, agree. then it's a lot easier to and use And with the, the binding the as well, you wouldn't want to be pinning it through because it's so many layers right. and you could, you're always going to stab yourself if you're doing that so just these clips are every quilter that will tell you they are the best thing in the world to get for it so john's been in the office for the last couple of weeks and we went through all all of the stock yes. that's available and we said right is there anything that you want to use and this was first on your list it was it? because now it's half ready for sylvia there you go <laughs> Prepared for you, Sylvia. £7.99 if you just want to dip your toe in the water maybe and have a go with those. They're £7.99 and you get 10 of the lovely multicoloured ones as well. Wonder clips from Clover. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand that you could probably get some more affordably, but we wanted to bring you the best quality. The great thing about this 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 channel, and, and you were asking me this earlier, are we okay to show different, you oh, know, yes. competitors, competitors, rotary cutters next to each other? But this is the great thing about it. We all have different preferences, Completely. don't we? And the one thing I will say about the Clover ones, they are really, really, really good firm clips. And, you know, I have gone and bought them online and mm -hmm. done that. Yeah, but you'll have. find that when they're put on, you'll find that they don't always join up. Okay. They, this little bit here doesn't always join up. It's not exactly on. And then they break after two mm. or three times of using them. Well, I've, I've, I personally had the Clover ones as well. And I've had them for about five years and That's they're still it. going. It's not something you're well, going to Well, Sylvia need to hasn't complained in. about them yet, so <laughs> it must be good. So this quilt, <laughs> we're, we've looked at the binding, but the actual quilt oh, itself is amazing. It really now, is. Now, you've got a long arm quilt, haven't you? It's by Matilda. I I called her Matilda because I think it's really important to have a name for it because when you're screaming at it when it goes wrong, saying a name is not quite as manic. Because <laughs> <laughs> we all have our machines and we all have moments where you're like, stupid bloody machine! How many quilts have you, have you done now on your long arm? 108. And, and you're still counting? Still counting. counting. Well, for tax reasons. Because <laughs> for tax reasons, I've got to make sure that my quilts aren't in the business and things like that. Amazing. So, I mean, I know your quilts have been seen by some of the, the, the most... Famous eyes. Indeed. I, Kate being well, one of them. I know. I was How so amazing. stunned by that. Well, you, Absolutely. I bet you were starstruck. Completely. He is like the um, the Oprah of the, the he really is. world, isn't he? Um, we're bringing your phone out. He's not just gonna bring my phone decided out. to have a bit of a text. So the... You tell me where I'm going there. A bit forward. That's Perfect. it. So that is one of the wow. best things that I've ever created. And what's really lovely is that I didn't sew it together. My la lovely ladies did. And so they who also... are your lovely ladies? Is this your... So I have a quilting, quilting group, group in Tring and we meet up once every two weeks. And they're just incredible. And every project, if, if somebody's got a group project, we all come together and do the project together. And this quilt, we had with filming for these shows, you end up with such a tight schedule that we had three days to make that whole quilt. So the show, tell me about the, the show that you were involved in the end of the year. So that was, um, it was called um, Wonderful World of Crafting. Gosh, I had a complete blank then. Um, and the, the show was really nice because it took people who were just starting off in crafting and you could then... Yeah, there was a lady who did Polly McClay. I know, they were was, incredible. Yeah. And it was just to be able to push the people along into right. the next step. Okay. And we all had mentors and people to went to do different things. And I got to meet Kate, Kate. Fassett and go to his house. And it's gorgeous. Oh. And he's the most kind, wonderful man. Now, I know a lot of you will probably be aware of the name Kate Fassett. And we absolutely love, love, love his work here. Um, but for anybody that doesn't know Kate Fassett, he's one of the, probably one of the biggest quilt in, designers he in is. the industry. It's Extraordinary. And his eye for colour is just incredible. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. Because when I went to him, I took one of the quilts that I'd been making at the time, and the colours were okay. And I think it was the only time beige has ever been on his design wall. <laughs> 
And he just looked and he very rightly said, you need to think about scale and colour. And that was where this quilt came from. That this I went through every single fabric that I had right. and found 43 of my favourite colours and fabrics and designs. And that was what we came up with. And I can zoom in on the next shot yeah. because, uh, sorry, I'll put that so that's back a, where that's it was. So that's a, a, a Bargello quilt. It is, is it? yes. Uh, where are we? Here we go. And you can see the actual quilting oh, on it there. gorgeous. And you can see the actual quilting on it is, and you can see that, sorry, because the lights, and you can see the different scale of the fabrics on it. And that was one of the things that I'd never even considered. No. Is the scale of the fabric. And the cave just, it's amazing when somebody who's so knowledgeable can say just one thing and it just twigs and yeah. everything just works really beautifully. It sort of depends on what sort of level of your quilting journey you're on. But then I've started to hear that a lot more. Mm. Scales of print, textures in quilt, so. and, you know, different shades and, and fabrics. But you can see there how much that makes such a difference. The it different really scales does. of print is gorgeous. See, I mean, we, we do refer to it a lot, but um, actually it's good to see an example, isn't it? And Very is that Alison so. Glass fabric it in there? It is indeed. Yeah. Vintage Spotted. sun prints, which I love. But trying to find the backing for this quilt, that was one of the most difficult tasks that I had. Oh. And Alison Glass, I didn't want to use the extra wide back. Well, I, I wanted to make sure I had the right backing. Okay. And Alison Glass made this panel and I was able to get enough of that to put the back in, because this quilt's enormous. It was 110 inches by 90. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot of panels for that. But it was trying to get the right thing for the right project, and that was what takes the time in doing it. We need to get that it. one in, don't we? We need to get that panel, because that's As beautiful. soon as Sylvia's bound it, I'll bring it in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes. She's going to beat me with my own arms today. I can <laughs> she tell. is. She is. She knows all this, though, doesn't oh, she? Oh, she does. She does. She's, she's worked with me long enough. Oh my her. word! What was this quilt? So, tell me the story behind this one. Sorry, when I, I got very excited. When I when I started doing this whole process, I went online and I I had a few moments online where it was it can be very difficult and people can be quite nasty. So I created my own Facebook group called the Beginners Quilt Emporium, and everybody was really kind and friendly. And I went to Johannesburg and oh, sorry to Cape Town, mm -hmm. and it was the year of the Queen's 90th birthday. And I thought, oh, should we make a quilt for the Queen? That's what happens when you have two gin and tonics in the airport lounge at, at Cape Town International. And I put it on the group, took off, landed in Johannesburg, and everybody said, oh, we're in. And there were 36 people saying they were doing it. So I was like, OK, we're making a quilt for the Queen. And that was the design that we came up with. Oh, it is gorgeous. And it was made by, I think, 27 of us made it. Now, what I love is you can't tell the scale of this quilt. No, you can't. So it almost reminds we, me of, you know, the fancy that. floor towels that you've got, Paul. That's what it reminds me of. Oh! So it gives you a slightly different idea of scale, and I'm five foot ten. <laughs> so, and Gosh, that whole huge. quilt, every single piece of that was put together in my tiny little kitchen. Oh, I love and that. And the floor space that I have in my whole kitchen is smaller than this counter. <gasps> So I was lying on my kitchen island, taking photographs, leaning over it, trying to get all the strips lined up. I tell you what, the extremes that we go oh, we to, do. to get I that shot. Oh, nothing. But it, it is, I found that actually, you do find yourself sort of trying to lay out all your blocks on the floor, moving all furniture out work, of the way, exactly. making it work. Exactly. So then know, what happened to the quilt? Yes, quilt. go on. So, having absolutely no space in the house to do this, um, everybody who did it had a little block and I'd hand em I'd embroidered it out on my machine, everybody's name, where they came from, oh. and a little message to Her Majesty as well. And it was all in white, laid out in the garden, took the photo, doing all the shots, you can tell what's happening. And a bird had eaten enough mulberries to kill, and, and yes, yeah, so... Blueberries, mulberries, not quite sure what it was, but it was about that big. And I oh, no. was oh, dear. horrified. The language that came out of me that day was horrifying. And I sat in the kitchen sink trying to run every single product. I took it to the dry cleaner. I did everything. And in the end, it was just never going to come out. And I did everything possible. So It's still there. I fixed it. Okay. Well, I didn't fix it. If anybody ever wants to go to the Royal Collection and see it, you will see is that it. where it is now? It, well, it is, because any gift goes to the Queen goes into the Royal Collection. You will see an embroidered section of two little birds on the back of the quilt. Oh, that is a great <laughs> way of fixing it. So now it. you know great why story. there always is. But it was, I couldn't cut it up. I could because it was already done. And I was like, oh gosh. And I had like a half an hour to get it to the long arm. Did you quilt that? Yes. Yeah, I you didn't. No, that no. got sent out. A lovely lady in Princess Risborough did it. And um, no, there was no way. Oh, that is incredible. Incredible, what a story. Hello, Sue. Good morning. Sue's messaged in. 
Welcome, Hello, Sue. John. Thank Welcome, you. John. She says, I'm addicted to quoting as well. Good on you. She says, I think, yeah, I think you are one of them. It many. is. I think you are one of many. You're going to fit right in. Uh, so we, we've seen the one from Kate. We've seen the one that's gone to the Queen. Yes. Um, these ones here are beautiful. Oh, I, I mean, love these. Very prestigious They're quotes. really cute. <laughs> these but are I know gorgeous. what you mean. They're just, these are something slightly smaller. And we've got a few more under here as well. Oh. Oh yeah, we've got loads. We've got yes, loads I and loads. I, knew that around. Was I brought the smaller ones because the big ones are 120 inch square. I know that you do a lot of big, big Very quilts, so. don't you? I love big quilts. But Quite also, equally, miniature, miniature ones. I do. We've so we're going to show you a few more of those as well because I like to do different mediums of doing it. God. It's displaying them all, isn't it? You, you did that better than I did. <laughs> Lots of practice. <laughs> Got to get it in the wrist action. <laughs> oh, so just, I like these little tiny baby ones as well. Oh, this is lovely. Great use of fabric as well. I love the different. They're just prints. so so simple. I like that you've used the same print, different colourways. It works really really. It does, well. and I wanted to make sure I had a really good contrast with it, which is why I thought the white would work really well. Where do you put them all? Do you have? Um, I have the world's largest collection of quilts growing in my studio. <laughs> because you've got actually, you've got. We should mention this. So you've got your own. You have a studio which also doubles up as a, a sort of a community yes, and a shop. It does. And all well, sorts. I basically got evicted from my house because my husband <laughs> from was, your husband from, yeah. from the fabric because there were um, sixteen thousand meters of fabric in the house. <gasps> No, literally, and our no. house is only 1,100 square feet. <gasps> so we had no choice but to try and get everything into a space. And I went to go and look at a secondhand long arm with a friend, and my husband looked at me and he says, well, Where why is don't it you gonna just go? get a long arm? And of course I looked at him and said, have you fallen off a tree? What is wrong with you? We can't afford a long arm. And well, he made it happen and he's extraordinary. So we now have all the fabric out of the house and everything's all in one studio and I'm not allowed anything in yeah, the house he says that's quilting related anymore. It's not allowed to come back. It's not allowed. that's exactly what he's done. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I think uh, my kitchen now, we, uh, Kieran's like, where are we going to eat our dinner today? But no, on it's On your lap all... in the living room. Absolutely, <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Honestly. Yes. Well, oh, I then I ended up going through a phase of Bargello's. So you can see I just went through Ooh. an absolute phase of Bargello's to try and see how they all worked. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Do you know what? Underneath us on the web, there is um, an ombre, there's a, an azure, there's a sunset, there's oh, um, and blue. a berry colourway. The blue is beautiful. Blue is the azure blue one. Oh, one. I really like the dark background. See, a lot of people Which, are quite afraid sometimes yeah. to do that bold, dark background, but it works really but well. It also it? shows really well, it shows the quilting quite well as well. Absolutely. But then the other Bargellas are 90 to 100 inches square, so I thought, no, we've got to get a bit more sensible <laughs> sizes. And then we did. Mm. Go on. Right, yes. Perfect. We've got so much that we want to do. I know a lot of people we, are going to get us, inspired by you to get started. But we've you, got two hours with you we today, can do haven't this we? Anytime. But these are so amazing because you've got all the different types of the rotary cutters and things. Right, so to get started, when you're starting out quitting, the first things that I bought were my mat, my rotary cutter, and a ruler. They were the first three items that I bought yes. from Sewing Quarter. So let's talk about rotary cutters because I know that you. Um, are really, really particular about safety of using very, very much. rotary cutter. I might just go back a step. With the, ro with the mats, the, right. this mat that I've got my hands on here yeah. is one of the best mats that you can get. And I tell you why, because you can see on one end it's centimetres and on the other side is inches. Ah, so if you, if you're, so if the you other work with metric or exactly, imperial. Exactly. But what's really nice about this is that it's got, it's 22 inches this way and it's 34 inches this way. And I always think it's important. We all go when we start out and we buy a lovely little cheap um, self-healing mat, mm -hmm. a few couple Small. of quid mm -hmm. and we end up throwing it away after a year. Well, I found I did buy a smaller mat and I did my cut and then I thought, ah, oh, I'm at the end of my Indeed. mat. What am I going to do? Exactly. Try and push them out again. They always say to go with the biggest mat, mat that your space allows. Kind of allow. And this mat, I have to say, I'm very impressed with this mat because you've got all your angles, you've got them along both sides, and as long as you look after it and you just make sure you rub it down, and there are various tutorials on how to do that, using this last. mat and spending the money getting a decent mat, it's going to last you longer. Absolutely. And it's big enough to get everything on. And if you haven't got anywhere to store it afterwards, under the sofa. Absolutely. Just you've got to keep it flat. A top tip from Hannah. Hannah's top tip at Christmas. If you're doing a family puzzle, oh, you could do jigsaw on it and then put it under the sofa. Oh my goodness, I love that idea. <laughs> there you go, double use. We love that. I wonder if Andrew will let products. me just have a mat in the house for, yes! for the jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> That's it, <laughs> top tip from Hannah. But also, like you said about the inches, of course, quilters, we work a lot in inches. Yes. But these are very, very 
useful angles Very to have, so. aren't they? 45 degrees. Well, they are the main ones you'd use. And I just think that the mat is so key because I know I went through five or six different mats, all cheap ones, all small ones, smaller than this, and I ended up throwing them away. And yeah, you know it. what? We're trying to all be a bit more eco, get a good mat that's going to last you many years. Mm -hmm. It's going to save you money in the long run. There you go. So that one's 37.99. Brilliant. We're loving all your top tips. And it is reversible, metric and imperial, 90 by 60 centimetres. Okay. Now, this is probably a rotary cutter that you will all recognise. This is the one that I own. 45 millimetres. Now, we've got 28 mil um, clover one later, but do you generally use the 45 millimetre yes, rotary cutter for I your do. everyday cutter? Very much so, very much so. It's a really good size um, blade. If you've got a nice sharp blade, you can go through about six to eight layers of fabric without any problems. My word. But I am an absolute. I'm so fastidious on safety with these things. We had a lady in one of our groups. She had her hand don't tell me these on the ruler. Stories. And I know, don't, if you want to see the horror stories, go and Google it. But please, it's terrifying. And it happens in an instant. Mm -hmm. And she had her hand on her, on her uh, ruler. And she was cutting oh, was with a rotary funny. cutter. And she went like that. And the top of her finger came off on the table. And she hadn't even realized it. Oh, no. Because don't it's, it. you don't feel it. It's so sharp. It goes through everything. And it was awful and it took months for it to heal so literally these blades are so lethal and people do not pay enough attention to it and the number of groups i go to and there's a blade open or you've left the rotary cut in there it's not about you may know it's open but if you've got other people in the room with you and somebody yeah. goes to pick something up you can cut it up the great thing about this we can take it out of the packet the um the, the good thing about this is that it does just snap you can't physically leave it out the the blade out basically no. it locks into place uh, it's 19 pounds 99 just so you know if you if you can see the picture on the web and you're thinking it doesn't sort of correspond it, it, it is the wrong image on the web but that is the one that you will be you will be sent uh, so if you press the handle down now well, the first thing is it. you've got the lock yeah you push the lock in and then you press that the handle it. and it will release it and then and it pushes you, up and down yeah. so you can see as I do that it lowers the blade so then, if you're uh, if you want to lock it completely, you just, just press red the red button. button again the other way, and you saw it popped out on the other side. So then, when you try to unlock trigger. it, and the only reason I'm using the other hand is so that the camera gets it, you can see there that you pop that's locked. So try and press that now, and you can see it won't oh, work. Right. And then to unlock it, you do that. Now this is fantastically safe because if you aren't very good at locking your blade, which I know many aren't, no no judgment, just pointing out. The good thing is, is when you let it go, it's locked. When you let it go, it's locked automatically. So you can leave that on your mat, not have any problems. Mm -hmm. So that's absolutely, totally, totally fits the John criteria of locking your blade. There you go. Uh, that's what we wanted. Also, you can switch the blade over to the other side, left-handed. Left -handed. Yeah. Which is great. I'm left-handed and I was too scared to tell the quilting teacher that I was left-handed, so I learned to cut right-handed, even though I'm left-handed. Because thought... I was terrified. No! <laughs> So now, I am left-handed, yes, but I'm, um, I, I'm very I, I, nice. I cut with my right hand. But so, look, so there you go. It is engaged when you press it with the trigger, but then if you click the little red button, it's completely locked. locked. There you go. And that's your 45 millimeter blade. And like you say, this is something that you can resharpen. You don't need to keep Buying new blades for it, you can no. sharpen it, or, and you can go through multiple layers as multiple well. Multiple layers. Brand new blade, I can easily do eight layers, no problem at all. Brilliant. They're fantastic. Gosh, that, that is rebellious, isn't it? No, I'm a very lazy quilter. <laughs> <laughs> the quicker, the better. Yes. If I can get it done, it's much easier. Now, the one that you wanted to bring this in... Is, this is the one I use. This okay. is the one that I use all the time, which I love. Um, what is it that you love about this one, John? So, that one over there, again, may I? Just, yeah. I'm lazy, so this is not a judgment on I'm lazy because every time you've got to do it, you've got to go like this, and I'm going to forget, and then when I come to unlock it, I've got to unlock I'm very lazy. It is one of the best rotary cutters you can get. It's just a preference. There's no right or wrong. Right. This one is a bit cheaper. Oh, gosh, it is affordable. It is a wow. bit cheaper, but... That doesn't mean that the quality is not there because it is still a really, really good rotary cutter. Well, this is the one that and you it's use. the one that I use all the time. There you go. See, all of our guests, whenever we get guest designers in, they all come in with different personal preferences. And the great thing about here as well is that you're going to get a play with all of the different exactly. products as well. Exactly. So you can have a go and, and hear everybody's preference. So it's got a guard on that top. This has got a guard as right? well, which is great. 
and you can see now I've opened the blade and I would never allow this. <laughs> <laughs> we can just see there the shininess on the blade, just how sharp it is. Yeah. Because see, I've got a very good rule. The only reason your blade is open is when you're, when you're on the mat, your blade is open and you cut and when you lift your blade up, you lock it. And you always cut away, away from, from you. you. Always away from you. And literally you see people cutting towards them. Oh no. Mm -mm. And, and even if I'm cutting. their fabric. Oh, but that's all, yes, that's a separate, that's a separate show. <laughs> <laughs> but even if I've got somebody sitting over there towards them, I will say to them, I'm cutting towards you and you go because you know one day they're gonna sneeze or put a hand out or do something, you just be, yeah. Takes 30 seconds. Do you have more than one rotary cutter? Do you have one at home and one when you're out and about or? Uh, yes, actually I do because yeah. I've got the, but I have the same one. Yeah. Because I'm lazy and I don't want to relearn another one. Yeah, well I suppose the, it's good even if you've got one already to have one that's in your bag ready always. to go to your classes and yes. your workshops. Isn't it? And you know that it's safe, it's there, the blade is, uh, is out. £8.99 and it's really affordable. And the, locking it is really easy because it's just pushing up pushing down and it's really and it's, you know it's done when you get that click because yeah. you get a good good clean you once you've you heard the noise it. you know it is because there are times where you push the button and it's not quite closed and you can see there I'm being very bad for your camera yeah. person there and you can see the blade's still out mm -hmm. so you're still at risk right so you need to push that yep. button all the way down until you hear it almost click once you've got the click and the only That's reason I nice know well. and the grips are lovely and yeah. it's nice it's sort of a very th it's a what do you call it? It's almost that? ergonomic, like a, isn't that's it? That's the word. Look at you knowing all the jargon. <laughs> but the great thing with this one as well is that once you've heard that click, you know, because once or twice I've left this in my bag mm -hmm. and it's actually cut through the bag oh. because it hasn't been completely closed. Right. It's been open just that tiny little bit. And then you look at your bag and you're thinking, why is there a slice in my bag? Now, I mean, we're, we're saying all the scary things because you're so conscious of safety, completely. but they are brilliant and oh, really handy completely. to use. And people they? use them. I use mine six, seven hours a day. Wow. And I've luckily, I can't watch tomorrow, I'll cut my finger off. <laughs> I have never cut myself. It's never been a problem, but I am so fastidious. The only time this blade is open is when it's on the mat. Yeah. And that's my pet pet peeve. Anybody who comes to do it work with me or anything, they know I'm always on it. And if I see a blade open, yeah. I take the blade away and they get it back when they pay the fiver and the fiver goes to cancer research <laughs> because that's how you learn. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I love that. But 28 I, millimeter, no, where do you use that? 28mm is for foundation paper piecing so, so should we do you my do little foundation reveal paper piecing. should we do the little reveal go on let's do it so i i was we'll do the big one this. first i was going to we'll say the, the tiny one, one just looks so amazing <clears throat> so this is a design that i made a couple of weeks ago oh gorgeous it's still um do you have quite a few uh, ufos unfinished uh we projects? try not to talk about that <laughs> but that is just a really <gasps> fun simple quilt your log cabin a log cabin court house steps, steps. And then the little twirl in the middle, which is foundation paper pieced. So I love this design. When did you start foundation paper piecing? Because it's quite, I think quite a lot of people... into it. A lot of people see it as quite a, a transition, quite a big step in change. Th I oh, think so. Right. Well, I'm, I'm addicted to it. And the reason being is Can that you make the, the big one, of course. So I'm very lazy. I leave my papers in. I just want to show, so, so you can see, if anybody has not seen foundation paper piecing, it's basically sewing... Through paper. paper, yes, and that's a 16 inch block, so that is quite a tough one to get through. Yeah, it'll be easier on the one that we show next because it's there. Ah, oh. so you can oh, see this not, is which this is, is brilliant. just it's the exact same quilt oh. just in miniature. Oh, I absolutely love this. That's like a, a bit like our Paul, isn't it? Director, <laughs> <laughs> he's like a human, but he's miniature. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said human, I didn't say man. But now, if we flip that round, okay. you can see all the papers that were used. So this central block has 29 scenes in it. So did you do this? I've done the whole thing, start to finish. Oh. Gosh, can, the, not that I'm in disbelief that you did when it. When you've got a rotary cutter that big, right. and you've got pieces that big, that's when your 28 millimeter comes in a lot easier. So, because your blade is a lot easier to use, that's why I use the tiny one. Do you know what? I've never ever heard anybody say that before. I, I know 28 millimeter. I would use it if you're doing anything that's curved, small, yes. small curves yep. or anything. But that's for really this, it's so these. much easier. Sorry, cat. Um, it's good to, to 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 hear what everybody finds useful. Six pound ninety nine. So, uh, again, 28 millimeter Millwood blade. It works exactly the same way. It's still. Oh, it's a exactly sharp. the same. Exactly. The only thing is, 
is because you're cutting slightly tinier seams, because you can see here, I don't even think that's a quarter of an inch, these seams. No. You can see how tiny they are. When you're cutting the fabric, again, I'm really lazy. I don't want to make a mistake. So if you've got a larger blade, there's more risk of going through the paper. If you haven't quite folded it enough, that's why I think the smaller blades work really well with these small paper pieces. And piecing. I know a lot of people tend to have a separate rotary cutter for their furniture yes, paper piecing because completely. you're going through paper. Yes. So it's going to blunt it slightly exactly. quicker. And you, and you just change the blades quicker. I do that for sure. I absolutely love that, though. I really like the idea of having, you know, the larger one and then having it on a smaller scale. The little mini coach is brilliant. Six pounds ninety nine for your twenty eight millimeter rotary cutter. Elizabeth's message to Hello, John. Hello, Elizabeth. She said, "Good morning, John. Good morning. You're welcome." She says, "I'm looking forward to seeing your lovely, lovely shirt as a quilt." No, she's going to be the, cutting this, it up and making I, it into a I quilt. I actually one, think that this shirt gets more attention than anything else whenever I go anywhere. It's brilliant. I love it. Oh, it is gorgeous. Well, it's your husband's, isn't it? It's not yours. Well, well, you see, the thing is, is being community of property. When he runs, when he finishes with a shirt, I take it to the studio and I cut six and a half inch squares out of the back and I get roughly 50 hexagons out of the rest of it. <laughs> so the pockets, normally you get a pocket, there's two hexagons in that. Do you do EPP as well yes, then? Yes, love it. Can't get enough of it. Oh. I just, because of the car accident, I struggle doing hand sewing. Right. But I do it as much as I can. Oh, I love a bit of EPP. Love it, love it. Um, can we have a look, as we're talking about, you know, difficulty with hands as well, because this is great for dexterity issues. I'm not allowed to open this packet, but I will mention it and talk about it, but you know. Oh, I am allowed. Um, this is your Fiskars Pivoting Rotary Cutter. So, as you can see there, there are three different um, ways of using this. Can I open it? Let me open it, because I want to show you these three different ways. Have you seen this one before? I haven't, no. Now, if you bought the uh, blade change, well, I say the blade changing tool, that came as free with the, the guillotine. If you did buy the, uh, that, that yesterday. Is, that is my favourite product ever. Really? So I'm sure when that comes back into stock, because it was so popular. Yeah, yeah it sold out. Definitely, that is something you should look for if you've got problems. The blade changing tool that came with it, you can use in conjunction with this as well. So, you know, I said yesterday, actually, it works with some of the Viscos rotary cutters. It does work with this one. This is great if you go through a lot of layers and you need obviously you've, you're yes. pressing from a different place yep. so you can put more of your body weight on top Perfect. of the rotary cutter so that's good but if you press this button at the top again oh my gosh it will go all the way around so then it acts as sort of like a normal yes. rotary cutter but then you've got two it says three uh, three positions but actually if you think it's got four so depending on you know if you've got dexterity issues oh my goodness you use it this way you might find it slightly easier to press with. There's another one that side, if you're right That's hand. amazing. Great, I've never seen it? this before, it's brilliant. There you go, and again, it doesn't work until it clicks in place. There is also that safety, um, safety. Love. There you go, safety oh, element as well. You have got that safety guard, so you must remember, to as John was down. saying, to yeah. lock that in place. Work is it, it whether you're left-handed or right-handed, again, you can change the blade over. And you can change the blade really easily with, with that, that blade changing And, and tool those blade changer things are amazing. That Means is such a great thing. Means you don't need to touch them thing. at all and dispose of them. Um, so it will actually show you on the packaging. Thank you, John. Of course. Um, those three different positions and it also has lots of great info. Do you know, on YouTube, there are so many fantastic, fantastic videos from Fiskars, which have a look because this is a brilliant, very, very versatile rotary cutter for less than 20 pounds. It's fantastic. And it's got a lovely, lovely soft grip. So if you're anything like John and does seven to eight hours with a rotary cutter a day, <laughs> the only other person I've heard say that is Tula Pink. Oh, wow. She Gosh. said that she does I mean, good company there. there. Absolutely. She is amazing though. Oh, we do. Oh, love I Tula. adore Tula. <laughs> Just 19 miles 99, so it's nice to have that nice soft grip if you do get hand fatigue. Yes. It is a thing, it isn't does, it? It does, of course. Right, okay, so I think we've covered rotary cutters now. Shall we go to scissors? You've seen me talking about these, oh, haven't you? I love those. Do you have I a, won't a deny, collection I've of actually scissors? ordered them. Have you? <laughs> They're <laughs> so good. I think Fiskars are definitely the name of of scissors, there's no question. All of my scissors are the Fiskars ones, but these are absolutely gorgeous, and this guard is so good. Oh, really handy to have. So, Fiskars, a massive household name, and as John said, this is the scissors of, of, of you know, 
the industry. Uh, they are quality, quality, quality. They are £9.99 as a special introductory price. I, I think when I first started in the sewing world, I was amazed by how many scissors people have in their collection and how protective people are of their scissors. And now I get it. When my husband goes to take my fabric scissors yep. to go and, you know, use something in the kitchen with it, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> But it is important, it isn't really it, to is. have the right tools But to it's jar. interesting that you say that, because I run a little yarn bomb in our town. OK. And we meet what, once... sorry, a yarn bomb? Yarn bomb, so we all knit and crochet different items and decorate oh, our town. Oh, please bring in knit, knitting Oh, of crochet. course, with pleasure. But in my studio, when we meet up, everybody's like, John, can I use these scissors? John, can I use these scissors? And I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> so you are very protective over yours. Completely, completely. Oh, brilliant. And they're all Fiskars, because yeah. they're such good quality. And those of you that have seen uh, the Facebook... In fact, yesterday, I saw your little comment... You video that you did and I saw your studio oh, and had serious studio envy you've got so you've got a bit of a stash haven't a you a little bit yeah just little a little bit, bit of a stash well I had 53 on. bolts of fabric arrive yesterday so I'm frantically trying to find places to put this and then I'm thinking actually why am I worrying it's Sylvia's problem <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia we need Sylvia here Get Sylvia here. She'd love it. John, She'd can, love it. John can go and Sylvia can come and do us um, some binding demos. Um, I'll bring the coffee. I'll do the teas and yes. coffees and bring you all breakfast. Brilliant. Yeah, we could do with that. We could do with that. Did you see Kat, our camera, camera lady? Hello. So when you just said that, she literally just jumped from I the know. side of the camera. I was like, what? You had how many bolts of fabric arrive? I know. Yep. <gasps> oh. My husband's going to hear this. Oh, no. Uh, no, there was nothing delivered yesterday, darling. Nothing. <laughs> nothing to see here. <laughs> Brilliant. £9.99 anyway for those fiscal scissors. I, I know people have been multi-buying. It's a real special introductory price. An incredible offer, £9.99. Can we have a look at more Of course, quilts? of course. I just love indulging into... Oh, gosh, definitely. ...learning more about you. So we're going to be seeing <clears> you <throat> more and more and more Hopefully, and more, yes. aren't we? Which is very exciting. Wait. Well, I thought we'd just end the Bargello series because this went on for a little bit. I like the metallic gold. I well, you see, I like doing double-sided quilting. You can see with the... But <gasps> my my little Matilda was having a day there. You can see that she was having a moment where she had a bit eyelashy on the back there. <laughs> and what it was is I was probably quilting it at three o'clock in the morning and I just couldn't care. <gasps> Thought, no one's going to look at the back of it. <laughs> and look, it's on telly now. You said you find that sometimes when, um, when you know, you people come to you and have their quilts long yes. on, they lie underneath they the do. long arm, don't well, they? Well, it's, it's weird because a lot of people don't have their clients or people who do doing quilts for them, come in and watch it being done. And I think that's a big step that's missed out. Yeah, so they're literally lying underneath. Yes, completely watching that they don't end up with that horrible eyelashing on the bottom. Oh, brilliant. It, But it is beautiful. Do you do free motion quilting? No, that I'm not Have you not tried free, it? I have, and it's, it looks like a dead spider crawling across a field. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. <laughs> Brilliant, I love it. You had a, a question about machine embroidery. Yes, I noticed actually. on the website people were asking, are we going to do a machine embroidery? I think, oh gosh, we must get that in. That would be gorgeous. Yeah, I think the plan going forward is to, to definitely, hopefully get some embroidery machines on board and we can do that. Is that something that you... Oh, I'd love to do that because I've got a little machine, um, a, a Janome embroidery machine and they're lovely. Yeah. And the things that you can do with them are incredible. So definitely, I'm do all Do you make quilt that. labels for all of your yes, quilts? Yes, well, not on these because yeah. they just... I get to a phase where you're like, oh, I have 68 quilt labels to make. That should be the next year of my life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's because I like to stitch them with the embroidery machine and right. do them really nicely from that. Yeah. And But I think it's really important, the heritage of these quilts. Absolutely. Where did you um, learn about quilting? Who, who was, how did you first hear internet. about it? The internet. The internet. And just seeing, because it's, if you want to do clothes making as a man, it's quite difficult because there's not, you make a shirt and a pair of trousers. Mm -hmm. Where ladies have got, you've got all these different options, yeah. and your, you know, your shirt's got beautiful sleeves like that, and you know, there's not very much to learn for a man doing that. <laughs> so that was why quilting just yeah. grabbed my interest on it. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, it's so very, again, it's Bargello slightly different. You would have seen this with my little reveal of coming on the show. Oh, this was your. This was my little. You mysterious, yes. <laughs> I know our, our marketing manager Haley. She was so excited that she kept saying, "I've made a, a gift." A gift. A gift. <laughs> I thought, it was, I thought I've you were going to be dancing like this, but no. She was very excited about that you, one. You don't want to see me dancing. <laughs> no <laughs> one wants to see that. This is lovely as well. Again, the use of well, colours. Because using I was the making these dark. colossal quilts, I thought this would be quite nice to have a little smaller one, which you could do as a cushion or whatever. Absolutely. And I think you've got a couple more by your side over there. That's it. I think uh, because of everybody presumes quilting means absolutely huge quilts and you think how many beds have I got but it actually <laughs> yes it does in your world doesn't it but actually you can yeah, incorporate it smaller, into really a quilted 
jacket, a quilted a bag, bag, a quilted definitely, cushion. Definitely. You can actually start by doing smaller projects. But those Debbie Shaw books that you were showing the other day, yeah. I was look, flicking through them and I was like, oh, going to yeah. have to get these. And the quilting on it is really, really good. I think we're going to get them into bag making and dress making as well. Oh, is this foundation paper piece? This is foundation again? paper piece and we'll flip it round. Do you so find you that see? doing it this method gives you really, really precise points. Would you be able to do it uh, Yes, the, but the, the precise points is really, really good on this. You've just got to remember the way you press it, okay. because if you've got a lip here, you then will have... Um, yeah. You can see here, my, my pressing wasn't quite right, and you can see I've got a slightly off the, the point there. But it's the pressing <laughs> and... Well, it's because I'm so close to it, and I can see them. Do you? This is such human nature, isn't it? Of course. It? We always tell everybody where we're wrong. You tell everybody yeah, it's a nice mistake. design, but have you seen this area and that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this would be lovely, though, again, as a wall hanging exactly. or, or the flower on the front of the Well, cushion. I did it as a cushion to get ah. people into foundation paper piecing, and then my dear friend Kathy in Norfolk, she's like, oh, no, I want to make a quilt out of this. And she made... I think she did six that way and three shelves. So and she did different shelves and she just went up and up and up. Is this um, one of your yes, patterns? So again, you design foundation paper yes. piecing patterns Well, this as well. one is my favourite foundation paper piecing pattern at the minute. We've had a message from Lorraine. Good morning, Hi, Lorraine. Lorraine. Welcome, oh, John. You. Love you. You're very kind. Oh. Make Fiona. sure you lock your rotary cutter. Yes. <laughs> and then you can be friends. Uh, it's Fiona my husband's said, shirt, shirt, unfortunately. <laughs> my she says, I'm loving seeing all of your quilts. Oh, thank you. She says, I like your bar yellow quilt. 108 is a fantastic amount. It is. That's how many you've quilted. That's what I've it? done, yes. She said, so, all of your team have done an amazing job, oh, thank she you, said. thank you. Um, this is beautiful. It's a little bit creased having been folded up in the bag. Oh, and I wow. almost got the point perfect in the middle. Stop it, stop it, <laughs> All, stop it. Well, it's if you're doing something this big, there's only one thing you have to nail. Oh, my word, I love that. I love the but solids I've, as well. You but don't... I did it as a Christmas fabric as well. And I had all my Santas going the right way. And so when you do Christmas in July, we can maybe bring that one in. Oh, it's really fantastic. A... I Gosh, it will be here before we Santa's know it. Santa's coming. <laughs> do you know I can't tell my Christmas on Boxing Day? You what, sorry? I count down my Christmas I, on Boxing Day. The first day. time I met you, you told me how many days it was. Yeah, it was, was 10 Christmas. months till Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> literally, exactly 10 months till Christmas. I got Christmas. that look as well, going, what? You're a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have Christmas here as well. Um, so but counting it down from December 26th is, is a bit quite odd. Extreme, it's quite extreme, yeah, odd. it is a bit extreme, isn't it? You said it, not me. Right, so when I arrived in this morning, you'd already <laughs> looked yes, through all this. Play with it and again. Absolutely. And you'd also picked out projects that you want oh to do gosh. from this. We've got the Fat Quarter books that are going to be coming up, but the Tilda books. This Tilda quilts. book. Now, what I love about this book, and I have two and a half, three thousand books. I'm not joking, all on quilting. What? I have got every, I, I every absolutely book adore ever... quilting books. And this, there is no question I'm buying this because it is so good. I'm pleased that you've said that because we live in a world now that, of course, as I was doing yesterday, yes. we're like this, digital. Yep. Everything needs to be there in the flash. But there's something still about, about reading a book. a book. It is. Having it as a reference there, picking it off the bookshelf. Yep. I know this sounds crazy, but Debbie Shaw will agree, the smell of it. It is. It's the feel it's of it. It's the feel of it. It's the frustration when it doesn't work and you pick it up and lob it across the room. Absolutely. You can't get that with a Kindle because you've got to buy a new one then. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but I absolutely adore books. And what I was reading through this earlier on, they have got really simple patterns. Now, I'm going to get all my pages wrong here. I remember page 22. I really like, um, I like having a bit of a... Uh, and then you've got slightly throw. more complex patterns. And you can see this is all different teapots but see, and all again, the bunting that make, on it. That would make a really nice cushion, cushion one. Exactly. But what they've done is they've made it as a cushion book as well as the quilts. Oh, brilliant. Which is fantastic. So it's got all of the instructions, but it also makes a really nice coffee table book, doesn't it? £14.99 for your quilts from Tilda Studio Book. So again, it's all broken down step Completely by step. Completely done that. And then when it's made up in the fabric... And they then will, such beautiful, they're just so beautiful gorgeous. Pictures. And then you see the little houses that they do. Oh, I like that one as they well. They are just so cleverly done. Look at the little boat. It's oh. just too cute. I love all two just toys. This is well. the one I was looking for. Because we all like a simple, easy quilt to make. Sorry, where is so it? So would you think that this is a, um, a book that even beginners could sort of pick up? And... Well, I actually think this is a really good book for all spectrums of it. Because okay. if you look at this quilt here, the blocks are... 
perfect. So Paul is going to zoom in now, I'm sure. You'll see that there's a four patch in the middle. Nice and easy, And yeah. you've got two, uh, four flying geese, and then you've got four squares in the corner. So you can see you've got the four patch there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's amazing. So it's all broken down completely into, you know, really into simple... Into breakable, workable sections. ...blocks. And they're four patch, flying geese. These and are all ones that you're going to see really in so many simple, more patterns. Really simple, very, very easy. And there are more complex ones, which this one is just so gorgeous. Oh, cats. But again, it's got curved seams. So this is a book that I would buy, and this is a quilt that I would make when I've learned quilts, curved seams in about 25 years from no, now. No, have a go. You I will, do but it. they're you terrible. They're really bad. But then again, Again, it's it's one of these things that you do it as an ambition quilt because yeah. I think it's really important to have a quilt in the future that you know you can't make yet that your skills can build up to absolutely and this book was just so good at that because you've got like this one was a really simple quilt yeah and you can then get all this all the straight lines and everything on that and it's just so simple but then in two, three, four years' time, when you're ready, you can do that one. It's really nice to, to see it with the Tilda fabrics, but you don't necessarily need to use the Not Tilda fabrics. Use the, the fabrics in your stash. Lots of people who are, are checking out on multiple items, just to remind you, no matter how many times you check out, you're still only going to pay one PMP, which is brilliant. Which is perfect. It is brilliant. Just £3.95 all day long today. What was the other thing that you wanted me to mention, Hannah? Oh, yes. Absolutely. So much love for you and oh, so much brilliant. love for the uh, the little tiny quilts. That you I feel really like. bad because I made a batik one yesterday, which was even smaller Batiks. than that one. Beautiful. And now I can't find the blasted thing because it was only nine and a half inches square and I put it somewhere really safe. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to bring that with, but unfortunately I didn't have Here's it. Here's a question for you, quilting question. To, to wash or not to wash your fabrics? Before or after you've made the quilt? Before. No, you I don't, don't. You don't I wash don't your think. fabrics? I will wash batiks, but yes. I won't wash a normal quilting cotton because those dyes are really good they're not going to have a problem on it and when it when the quilt's made then I would wash it I, I quite like that yes. little like because it all scrunches up in that absolutely um, so if the the miniature quilt I was talking about oh yeah. the um you can see how tiny it was oh wow and you can see the inch lines on it you can see the inch lines on it and how tiny that quilt was. Oh, wow. I'm just, I absolutely adored it. I like and it was I really good. I kind of, you can see the border. I fussy cut mm. with the little yellow pops in the corner. So they're not, are they, the ones that use solids, you, you're mixing both batiks in yes. with other fabrics as well. So that was three different batiks, nice. which I really love. So that, I adore miniature quilts. I yeah. think they really have forgotten art that people don't do. A lot of people are messaging. So a lot of lovely I've just, miniature I've quilts. I've just noticed this one here because looking through this book, every time I look at it, there's another quilt I want to do. Oh. But again, this is more, much more advanced than yeah. what your normal quilt would be, and you can just see how adorable is that. Is that foundation paper piece, or how? Is I don't that, think is it that is. Paste? Wow. I don't think it is because they've got the templates in the back. Ah, oh, see, that's what's handy as well. Which you can then, you can then cut them out for the. I think a majority of those are sort of um, uh, ultra size, but if it will tell you, uh, all of the patterns are given full size, in fact, yes. actually, and that's brilliant. So how would you transfer these templates? Well, we've now got a wonderful product on today. You sl slotted it, you can tell she's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually Freezer didn't paper. Know. Chuck Come the on. freezer paper over. I did want to talk to you about this, though, because no, I, I did bring it yesterday paper. and I said, oh, I've got to talk to John about what you use. Do you use freezer paper? I do. I do. And the freezer paper, I'm glad this one's open. All you do, I'm hoping Paul's going to be able to keep on the overhead. There you go. And you can see the line through it. Of course. That's all right. So and you if you've got a light box, it. you can put the page on the light uh -huh. box, but you can see the thick line there. You then draw that out in your freezer paper and you're not damaging your book. You're not doing any problems with it. You're not accidentally going to cut the page out of the book because there's a template on the other side. Then you're going to mess up that one. Right. So the freezer paper, I absolutely love for this. Now, it's got like a slight uh, shiny side and a matte side, hasn't it? So, so this... I would draw on the matte side okay. and then press the shiny side onto your fabric. And it kind of sort of, st well, it, it does, does stick, It does, but it, it doesn't leave a residue. It. You don't have to wash the fabric afterwards. It's just a really simple, tacky attachment that you can then just <laughs> cut everything along. But it's not like a bonder web, which stays there forever. Absolutely. £6.49 is a great price as well because quite a lot of quilting, I don't know whether you've noticed, there's quite a lot of um, quilting products that tend to be uh, sourced mainly in America. Yes. So freezer paper is one of them that is 
very, very popular and famous in America quite often, actually, for wrapping meat up. Yes, <laughs> and sandwiches useful. and things That's like it. that. Yes. But um, it is something that is used a lot for crafting. OK, so £6.49, you get one pack and you Gosh. get 50 square foot. So you get a lot. I don't know how much that is in metres. 50 feet, so it's 46 points. There you go, 46.4 oh. metres no, squared. 12 by 38. 12 so metres. So 12 metres by th uh, 38 centimetres. There you go, I'll show you. You can see, uh, <coughs> you basically get a lot. And it is a lot. Oh look, I think um, there was a bit of a graphic typo there. You don't get 12 packets. <laughs> 12 pack. I think there's a two, someone slipped on the, the one and put one, two. It, you do get one packet for just £6.49, but it is brilliant for lots of craft Maybe uses. they meant that to be the 12 metres. Yes. Because it is 12.19 metres. Yeah, there maybe you go. that's maybe what it was. That. £6.49 is a brilliant see, price. Without I'm, having to pay a huge shipping charge from America as well. But you see, I can't stop looking at this book. Oh, the pears. They've got the little oh, baby snowmen. snowmen. I thought they were pears. I then just for cannot second, stop but, uh, looking at this book. Oh, I love that. And the heart. And the great thing is, then you've got those templates exactly. to use for Forever other projects. You can so start I'm sorry, I'm gushing about this book because it is just so, so good. We absolutely love, love, love the book. So the book, everybody um, who loved it yesterday, uh, you've still got another chance at it today if you missed it. It's £14.99. And for the amount of projects that are in here and how versatile the, pro the projects are as well, I think it's brilliant value for money at just £14.99. Uh, are we going to look at the other books now, yes, Hannah, as well? Yes, 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 yes. Books, These, books, books, books. You have, again, listed ones that you, projects that you want to make out of here, Indeed. You? Which one so do this you book, These books were made by Wendy Gardner. Now, many, anybody who's in the crafting world who's ever gone to the Festival of Quilts, a knitting and stitching show, the new stitching show, Wendy Gardner is one of the people who works on the team to organise all of that. And she is so knowledgeable and so talented and she's written so many books. Oh, she's hundreds She's incredible. Yeah. She's incredible. But the thing that I love about this book is that they're not like any of her other books. They're completely new. They've got so many great techniques in them on doing different things. Things that I didn't even know I wanted to do. There's like a bias. So we're doing, um, she's got the bias binding and piped binding. Oops. Um, and she's got different techniques on how you do that. And they're really good because there's lots of pictures oh, on brilliant. how to do it. Oh, lovely photographs. They're as well, fabulous. Right? And it's just a really well written book. And I'm just going to turn to this page. So look, these are all these are all using fat him. quarters as well. Yes, just using fat quarters. And you've got these incredible templates at the back, which again you would use with your freezer paper. Yeah, I don't want to cut and it. I'm today. just gonna open this up. Oh these are all to size as all well, which is kind of, Do you know really? what? I don't like um up, oh, you've got to upscaling. Oh, I, can't, I can't. And it's lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy, make it easy for me. This is perfect. You take the freezer paper, you draw it on, perfect. And my favourite thing of all, because I know nothing about grain and bias and all that nonsense, there's a grain line! There you go. She's got me. Really user-friendly as well, then. Really user-friendly. Head dart, eye placement, nose placement. The nose. The two-tone teddy bear nose. Oh, usually, it's gorgeous. just so beautifully written and it's just so easy to understand, which is what you want in a book for somebody who's still learning on all these things. Well, quite often the books are quilt books or yes. dressmaking book or a toy book, whereas actually this is kind of dipping your exactly. toe into lots of different projects so and you can three, make a four fair... four pages of templates. And what I like about these templates being separate is you don't have to bend the book to do it. Absolutely. You don't have any things in there, but you've got different all these different amazing products yeah, which go really case. well with them. Learning how to insert zips. Yep, and there's a whole section in the front on how to do this. Seasonal. How green is that? Not wasting on all these Christmas crackers. Making your own you can use for centuries, oh, not brilliant. centuries, but each Christmas on, on and off. Absolutely. Nice it's... gifts for people, aren't they? Again, purses, bags, toys, tablet sleeve. Perfect. Great gift ideas for people, aren't they? They're really good. Oh, I love that. Little sheep fabric, makeup rolls, but you could use it for art brushes and all sorts, couldn't you? They're incredible. Again, how to make the lovely little 3D element flowers. And look on at there. the bag, you know, just going all the way around the bag. I just, I gotta love a good tote bag. There you go, there's your binding. Free motion embroidery job. Indeed, junk. indeed. And it's so well written that you know exactly what you're doing. So I, I'm a full, I'm a huge fan of Wendy's. And Gosh, yeah. I've just noticed the price on that. That is really good price as well. It's nine pound ninety nine. Brilliant, brilliant price to say that you've got sixteen you projects. Sixteen projects. It is. I'm thinking the price per project. 
Oh, well, actually, pennies. do you know what? It's pennies. It's it not is. worth it. But the thing with this is, sadly, being in the quilting world, we all know a lot of our community are a certain age, and unfortunately, they pass away. And you want to be able to remember them. And these teddy bears, they're really good memory quilts, uh, memory bears, because oh. not everybody wants a quilt. Yeah. But it's certainly, sadly, one of my friends passed away last year, and her family have now made, out of her clothes, they've made these incredible bears and Love teddy bears that. and things. And this is just a really lovely way to remember your loved ones. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's just, I just, I'm very, very pleased that she's made that book. I know a lot of friends as well who have made them from baby's clothes yes. as well. Because nice you remember you, them. Yeah, yeah, it's nice if you don't want to get rid of baby's clothes, it's nice to then to just do make, something yeah, with them. Really lovely. Okay, so the home. So they were the gifts. We're moving um, on to the home book. We're a, an hour into the show. Doesn't feel like it. We've got another hour. We're Fabulous. staying for another hour live today. Uh, unfortunately, I wish we could say now, going forward, we're on for two hours every single day. But we're still in we the midst of... It won't, won't be long. long. It won't be long. We're all the ideas that are flowing around products. is definitely going to happen. It's brilliant. Uh, so those of you that are, are, are just tuning in, we're still live for another hour. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, this is John Cole Morgan. Nice to meet you all. Thank you for coming on. Oh, <laughs> There you go. We've got so many, so many lovely messages coming through oh, for you. Oh, that's so you. kind. I have to say, everybody's been so lovely. They really have. Are you enjoying your social loving street it. experience? Loving it. Uh, John's going to be sorry, our new sorry. presenter. I've gushed about these two books, and I'm going to try and figure out how I can sneak them in my bag on the way out. Absolutely. We have to check his <laughs> pockets when you're leaving. Security at the Security door. Security by the door, that's fine. But the thing is, at that price, I'd far rather buy them. Absolutely. But now... I'm hoping Wendy's not going to be cross with me. She's written another book here called Fat Quarters for Home. And there's one project in here that completely drew my eye. And I'm going to just flick straight to that, if you don't mind. And it's the two bottle bag right. where you can take two bottles with you to a picnic or to work and you can take your gin in one I was going to say, I knew exactly where you were going with this. How amazing is that? <laughs> I knew She's where this genius. was going. She's <gasps> genius. They are lovely. Two bottles two of bottles Prosecco in one or bag. gin and tonic. How Absolutely. can you go wrong with that? We love that, Wendy. Absolutely besotted with this. And look, there's a little divider and it's uh, they're not going to clink together in the car. She's thought of everything. She's thought of everything. She really is very good at what she does. And again, is that like a, it looks it's cross it's quilted, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Such a good book as well. Adding trims. I don't know that you saw Victoria's demo the other day of a jazzy binding. A bit of an addition to that, adding trims to your project. Once again, it comes with all with those all the templates. templates. all here. Those of you that got your freezer paper, don't cut your templates up. It's nice but to be able to have them. Is. But that is all two size, full size templates included. And that's what you really want to do because the number of times that you say go up twice and you're mm -hmm. like, huh? Yeah. Can't do that, don't know how. This no, is just all to ready it, to go, on. it's perfect. If you are tracing your templates, you do it with the freezer paper that is six pounds 49. Just to remind you, I know on the graphic it says 12, but you get one pack, it's six pound 49. Sorry, that was a bit of a typo. Really, really handy for lots of different crafting needs. Just six or nine. Hannah, you were saying that you want to use it for your quilting, didn't you? Yeah, cutting out shapes and using them as templates. For appliques oh. and things, is that what you're well, meaning, Hannah? Well, no. Using it, yes, you can use it for applique, but she thinks if you cut out heart, you could then use that as a guideline, put it onto your quilt, and quilt oh, around it. Oh, that's so clever. You don't have a long arm quilter, or you don't have template, or ruler work can be quite yes, of course. difficult sometimes. So you can that's do it. That's a very clever idea. Oh, I like that. Make your own like quilting She's not just templates. a pretty face, that one. Oh, is she's she? not. No. She's not. Not just a pretty face. Did you see her yesterday? Didn't she do well? She was brilliant. She was telling us oh. all about her holiday to Maramar oh, and, and, and getting, in fact, actually, I'm intrigued to know um, where you get your inspirations from because Hannah was in uh, Maramar and it, Myanmar and in her, um, in her, it, when she, on her on travels, she went to lots of temples oh, and they right. had incredible gold leaf pillars everywhere. And she says, I was just seeing fabrics and oh, quilt brilliant. blocks everywhere I was going. Where is it? Do you get your inspiration? Floors, floors. 
and stained glass windows. And it's, whenever you're looking down, and I, I, we go to, my husband and I travel to Thailand a lot because it's just yeah. the most gorgeous place to go on holiday. But favorites. whenever you're looking on the floors, it's the most incredible, intricate designs, which are beautiful um, designs and mm -hmm. beautiful quilt blocks. Yes. So I think that there's definitely something there. There should be a book about quilting floors or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. would. I started, we, we're going to start a thread. I know that we said we'd do it, but we've got to wait for Hayley, our marketing manager, on Monday. Uh, we're going to do it on the, the, the Sewing Street official page we're going to start a thread and we want to see where you get your inspiration oh, from that's a so good you know idea. when you're just driving along i went to the uh, the the nec yesterday and even outside they had all, it's all brand new there that they've got all of these different sort of almost like billboard things but it looked like foundation paper piece shapes all these oh, wow. geometric shapes all together and i thought you look around and everywhere you look there's inspiration there is. for quilts there really is we start seeing quilts all around us don't there we really is well i went to um shoreditch and there was a new barber a new salon that had opened a men's yeah. salon and they'd done these uh, men's beards and men's faces all out of different triangles and different shapes oh. exactly foundation paper piecing and it was only when you said that i was like Oh, I remember that. So That's they it. are everywhere. We need to start taking pictures of it and sharing them because it's lovely Love to get that. some inspiration, isn't it? Depending on what sort of part of your journey you're on, when I first started, I would, wouldn't even think about that. I'd be just panicking trying to choose fabrics to put together. But actually, as you go along, you do start to then think, oh, I can create my own exactly. designs as well. Exactly. So exciting. OK, so let's go to the Wendy Gardner, the second book, which is, again, brand new, never been to air before. It is um, designed just with fat quarters. We loved the gin and wine bottle. Cable tie roll. Oh. This is genius. Do you know I'll whose name this, this has got written all over it? Joe. <laughs> he came in the other day with... <laughs> I said, oh, has anybody got a phone lead, a charger lead? He came in, had a cable tie around it. Oh, he's very good. Very organised. I wonder if I can borrow him to the studio and he and Sylvia can sort all that out for <laughs> yes, me. Yes, he'd be great. He'd love <laughs> Sylvia. Maybe we could set them up. Um, this is lovely. That is really clever. Cable tie, ro tidy rolled, keep your wires and bits and bags. Or oh, knitting bags. So you again, you do yes, knitting and crochet, knitting and crochet, well, crochet as well. So this is a lovely thing to do as well. And if you wanted to make it a bit longer, um, the pattern, I'm sure you can just extend longer if you needed to. But these look, um, in 33 inches, you don't need it longer than that. That's enormous. Oh, it's centimetres, not inches. Sorry, my mistake. Sorry, Wendy, I misread your pattern. 13 inches, but even that's a really nice long length for your needles and stuff. It's wonderful. But I love the way she's used this webbing as a little bag, all the yeah. way a little holder for the bag. She's Absolutely. so good. And I like the, how clear the instructions are. They're very, we're, we're all quite um, similar, I think. All crafters tend to be visual learners. It's very nice so. to be able to have very clear photographs. Very so all, much so. It's all well and good like, giving me a recipe or, you know, uh, instructions, all words, words, words. But I almost, I need to see it. I completely agree. Now, all I look the at these shoes. slippers and I think to myself, if I was more organised and I had a little more time, when I had guests to stay, wouldn't it be nice just to make a nice little bit, bespoke, Slippers for each guest. To imagine, come. imagine somebody wonderful. that's going into um, into and hospital could, or something. And you can machine embroidery, embroidery their name on the front or. Oh, that'd be oh, lovely. Imagine for bridesmaids or for oh, bridal gorgeous. parties and things. Oh, we all know people getting married. Yes, you know who you are. Paul, came, can I just uh, say, Paul, you should come out and tell, tell us about your Carol experience. Paul came to stay at ours. And he says, oh, yeah, I did put slippers out for him. He says he's done a five out of five review for me on TripAdvisor. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Pardon? But the question I didn't is, make did... the slippers. No, I didn't. Well, now you know next how. Next time. He says, next time I come round, I'll, I'll be marking you down if they're not homemade slippers <laughs> with my name embroidered. But this is lovely for a tech pillow, Ooh, which yeah. are really good because I, well, we need my one phone is enormous. So I we find when one. I'm sitting there with it in my hand. Look at the size of my phone. <laughs> but these are just so clever to do all of that and just pop them on and you just rest them down and you can work with them. It's quite difficult sometimes to make gifts for, you know, grandchildren and younger generation. So. But of course, they're always on, well, all on we're, their all, we're all guilty of it, exactly. on the devices, on phones and laptops. So it's nice to be able to have it propped up. You exactly. Watch, it, watch a movie or something on the go. Do you know what? I'm actually going to see if we can make one of these for the iPad. Absolutely. Please, oh. please make us one. These are lovely as well. Oh, that's so cute. There was a bar that I went in, into that had 
embroidery hoops all over the wall with different mm. fabrics in, and it looked amazing, real spectacle. Oh, that's lovely. I know, obviously, you use them for when you're doing your hand stitching, but but they are really lovely to display as well. So but Wendy's you know made it into this? an organiser. Is the number of times I can't find a tiny pair of scissors, and where I've left it, they're not. But putting this up, you probably remember to always that's put it. it back up there. Yeah, that's they're really, really nice clever. Idea. Oh, it's got the little wrist pin cushion as well. Oh, nice. Once again, loads you. of projects. She's so clever, that projects, Wendy. And it's just £9.99. And they're all designed for the home, going from the kitchen to the to the, uh, to the boudoir bedroom and lounge. Oh, I always say boudoir when you've got homemade slippers. It changes from a, a bedroom to a boudoir, doesn't then it? Then it's an experience. <laughs> Someone's actually made an effort. You really want it there. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, that's these books are amazing. I am a huge book fan. You put them in a pile to go, to go home course, with you, aren't you? Of course, of course. <laughs> but I do need to, to check them out. This way. And again, at £3.95 for your postage all day, how can you not? It's Absolutely. just silly. Absolutely. Jeanette, good morning, Hello, Jeanette. Jeanette. Lovely message from her. She said, good morning, Vicky. Good morning, John. Hello. She says, I'm loving, loving, loving the show. Um, she said she finds it really interesting. And how fab to see more quilting on TV. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Is it is good. It is good. Uh, go on. She says, I'm learning so much. She says, I love to see uh, John's FPP. Perfect. You're such an inspiration. Aww, I love your designs. What a lovely thing to thank you. She says, you managed to combine traditional and modern both together. So she says, thank oh, you. Oh, isn't that lovely? Thank you. Thank you, Serving Street, for bringing John on. Absolutely. So we can share his knowledge. He'll be back. He's back a lot. You're going to be here. He's never going to stop sharing knowledge. And we're going to be getting you sewing as well, aren't we? They're going to have to carry me out of here. I'm not leaving. <laughs> but what time <laughs> but did I you am arrive this product. morning? Tell us about your morning experience. Well, so you live in Tring. I live in Hertfordshire you? in Tring. And um, this, we're in Birmingham, near, very near Birmingham. And when I drove home on Wednesday, everything was really flooded yeah. and it was everywhere. And then there was these rather dramatic reports of a storm, which you, they always make it sound as though the world's ending. It's like yeah. world in the wars, which I understand they've got to do for themselves, but really. And thinking I'm never going to get here, there are going to be puddles every hour and 30 minutes, door to door. So your alarm in. went off at what time? Four. Four and this my morning. my poor husband, this little, we just wake up, darling, go slow. Shh. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> so, so lovely. But it was just to get here, make sure I was here on time because I don't want to be late on my first day. No. Um, so, yeah, I walked to the door at like half past six. <laughs> Everybody turned up about five, five to eight. And I was like, <laughs> woo! <laughs> so I really had read books. my books by then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two hours on its own this morning reading They're all these so books. so good, though. Sorry, I can't stop raving about them. Love them. Absolutely love well, them. Let's have a look what else we've got here. So we've done the Wonder Clips. Yes. So we'll recap on these. So you've got the Wonder Clips, you've got the 10 of the Wonder Clips there, and uh, you've got the 50. Now for quilters, these are invaluable for your binding, but also bag makers, a lot of bag makers. Completely. Here, especially if you're going through bulky layers, multiple layers, to hold your sort of structure together. So the 50 pack is this one. It comes in a nice little case as well, because like your little scissors, I lose clips, pins, everything everywhere. So, oh, there you go. Here's and then one when you finish earlier. doing, when Sylvia's finished that section of the binding, she just pops the clip back in and you just close them and they're not going anywhere. <laughs> there you go, Sylvia. You'll be pleased to know that it comes with a little storage box as well. <laughs> I wonder if I could embroider Sylvia on the top here somehow. <laughs> <laughs> £28.99, which, listen, I know, I know that you can go and you can get clips, more affordably. The reason that we've bought these in is because they, they stand the test of time. They do. They are absolute quality products. And again, you say that you've had these and use them for... All the time. Yeah, you use them all, all the, the time, time and all use the time. them for years. You do. Just keep look after them in the little box and they will last. It's not My something you're going to have to keep My only complaint about them is I wish they came in much bigger boxes because I bought four or five of these. Right. Because then you've got enough to go all the way around a quilt because I'm very lazy. I want to make sure that the quilt is perfectly folded all the way around and I know they're not going anywhere. We've already folded it up. It's, it's been already sitting here. Sylvia. And it's all, if nothing's moved. It's exactly where I left it. Nothing's moved. Even the bits that are on the fold... They haven't moved at all. They're exactly where I left them. Oh, they're so lovely and colourful. You're not going to leave them but in, are you? they're so well? strong yeah. because they don't move, really, which really is really tell. good. I think they've got little markings on them as well, so you know... Um, they, they almost have like a guide, so you have a bit of an idea. Well, the of... thing with it is you can see... You can see where... 
where this thumb is here, they're nice and flat, mm -hmm. and this one's rounded. So when I'm doing my binding, I make sure the nice and flat bit goes onto the back of the quilt, and the binding on the front goes here, because you've got a, a, a little oval shape there that the binding at the top doesn't get smushed. So do you find that Sylvia, obviously Sylvia, I was going to ask, do you do this, but does Sylvia um, stitch on the front or the back of binding? On the back. The back on of the a back. binding, yes. and then top stitch around. So I top stitch, the, I've, I sew the front on, mm -hmm. so you can see over here, I've, st I've stitched this on myself. Right. And then I will fold it, and then double fold it. I'm probably not doing this in the right place. So I double fold it there, and then I rotate it round. And you can see that that's now covering my stitch line from the front. And of course, using white fabric, white thread, this is really helpful to make everybody see it. Telly binding, isn't it? Perfect so you can for see, the telly. <laughs> you can see there where my finger is moving that there's the thread. But then when I put that there, it's covered the thread completely. Right. Yeah, we believe you. We can see it. We can see it. <laughs> and then again, what I mean with the flat in the back is you can see now this is nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Over here, this is nice and flat, and it's pressing the binding down. But the front, you can see there, it's snugly holding the the binding at the front. It's got that nice little bump in it. It's not smushing it up. They're great for. I mean, they they're, they're designed for crafters. Um, it opens really nice and wide does, as well. It does. So if you are going through multiple layers, I'm thinking for, um, for for bag makers, then these are really really handy. And fifty, yes, I know. Um, John obviously wants five hundred in a box so always, that you can uh, do all of your binding all in one go. Well, you see, it's but... important that when you because the thing is, if you're going to do this and you're on a roll and you've got everything folded, mm -hmm. that you do one end and it's beautiful and you've got your corners perfect. The last thing you want to do is then do all of that and then you're like, oh gosh, how did I fold that? Just keep the rhythm going all the way around. I am. Um, and I, bulk buying is the only way that I understand anything. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Especially with 1P and P. Absolutely, you can. Uh, the, the thing that I always find is that I will, well, I don't, but I, I try not to sew over pins. Never. So it, it really, really does help to have them that they're quick Completely. and easy. I'm concentrating on my sewing. I don't want to be then taking out pins and watching where I'm putting them. I end up throwing them on the floor yep. and losing them. So Clips, you can easily do that. Also, overlocker and pins are a no-no. No. So if you're new for uh, overlocking, maybe if you're thinking for jersey, these are going to be great for necklines. You don't want to be, um, yeah, you will kind of mess up your whole overlocker if you, you, you um, have a pin and an overlocker disaster. So anyway, they're really handy for dressmakers as well. Something that we've been really excited to get uh, onto Sewing Street for the first uh, time on Sewing Street is a rotating cutting mat. We talked, and I'm going to show you this again. We talked for a, a lot about safety with rotary cutters. How many people do you see people? How many times do you see people pe see people that go try and rejig their angle to to try to not cut towards themselves? This is. It's brilliant. brilliant, isn't it? But this is brilliant for another reason as well. Firstly, when you're bored, you just go like that. Ah. <laughs> you just do that, and it's great. You just great have, fun. It's good fun. But the other thing is, is we've got little bits it's like, of fabric. It's like one of those here. lazy Susans. If you've got a takeaway, isn't it? You can it put is. your cake there and spin it around for everybody on the middle of the table. Multiple <clears throat> uses. We're always can thinking of our, our food. We're going to jump ahead to the tilde at the same time. I'm just demoing this. We'll come back to it, I promise. What I love about these is if you're doing a block and you're needing to cut four pieces of fabric, what I love about these is that now you put your ruler on and you cut that way and then you can cut that way and you can move it around whatever angle you want to cut it. You don't need to move your fabric at all. So not only do you not need to move your body, you don't, you don't need, need to move, to move the, the fabric. fabric. And you just go like that. And it's quite often, so easy. That's quilting, the word uh, precision. I precision hear is a lot. vital. And one cut in the wrong place can mean that you, you, you waste you your fabric. Your, but it's not, you miss a point, and if you're going to do it and you're going to do it properly, take that extra 30 seconds. Let in, this is such a good price on this mat. And it's, I, I've got one of these that I take with me everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's in my sewing bag, it's small, it keeps the sewing bag standing upright. I can put the rulers on it so it keeps my rulers safe. And it, when you bring it out, it's a nice, 12 inch mat, it's, so it's the perfect block, size, yeah. because even if you're doing a miniature this size, you've got a nice little, because you can imagine laying all these out, the last thing you want to be doing is putting the piece of fabric there and then you've got to rotate all the pieces of fabric. Just lay it all out there and you can move everything around and it is so simple to do. 
Yeah, so not only very safe cutting, uh, encouraging very safe cutting, but also really handy, saves time. Completely. And it is going to help you to do and the, cuts without moving your fabric. The other thing that I found is I've been using my mat for four years, mm -hmm. and it's still as good as the first day I had it. Brilliant. And I use it at least six, seven hours a week. There you go. So it's it's a really sort of robust mat. I think they're really, really safe and easy and you can move them around. The, the base of it is like, it comes in two sort of parts. So the base of it is like, how do I describe it's a, it's that? A velvet, it's sort of like a felty, squishy, smushy, rubbery bit. It's sort of a disc, <laughs> there you go, great description. That was, you know, that famous squishy, velvety, felty, it's not going to move but on your surface. when you buy surface. it and you squish it, you'll see exactly what I mean. But that's not going to move on your surface. Doesn't your diamond look beautiful? <laughs> Gosh, look at that. You did well. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, Thank apologies. And Anything that sparkly. Into place. <laughs> oh, you make me blush. <laughs> then that slots into place, so then that's not going to move on your table, no. is it? But it Again, you've got the 30 degree, the 60 degree, the 45 degree, and when you are brave enough to do your circles, they're all marked out ready for you. When you are so brave in five, enough, John. So in 25 years' time, I'll look at doing that. Come on, we've got to all encourage John to <laughs> do the, some they're curls. They're the cleanest lines on mine. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> None of them have been touched. <laughs> 32 pounds 99 for your 12 inch rotating cutting mat. Right, now, you picked up probably uh, one of the most popular fat quarter bundles that we launched yesterday. They are Tilda. So good. These are beautiful because you get Tilda solids in there as you well. Do. And they're such amazing quality. And, and how amazing that you've got the Tilda book to go with it. Absolutely. See Can't what you did there. Can't imagine why they did this. But they are just so lovely. You talked about Wendy's book. For anybody that is brand new, um, I know it can sound like a bit of a foreign language and lots of different jargon. Mm -hmm. Back quarters, back quarters, it's half of a half metre. Half of it? a half metre. So Not to be confused with a long quarter, which is 25 centimetres width of fabric. Oh, gosh. Fat eighths. I mean, oh, yeah, we would never do that, would we, no. Hannah, get confused by that? And we got very confused by that once, notoriously. It is. But um, you can see it's a really nice, lovely, simple print not going to be causing a problem. I like the, uh, the the apple butter collection from Tilda was actually designed around her grandmother's dressing room. So I think this yes. was the print that was like imagining the pearl necklaces that Very were draped so. just all on her dressing table. And then you have the complementary, complementary solid. Complementary solid to go with it. But what I love about Get it is loads. that it's even with the complementary solid, you can see how beautifully they all go together because this is Absolutely. a lovely green. A lovely green, but if you... And they all go together. They really do. There's more Tildes on the website from the uh, from different ranges. The, this is the only one from the Apple Butter range, I think. But there was the Lazy Days on there. There was the Plum Garden on there. There was the Classics. There was the Basics, like the tea towel print one. But they're starting to disappear on the web as they sell out. They're beautiful, this aren't they? This is very strokeable. Look how beautiful this they, is. They, and they, they it really does lovely make a difference. The quality, it does, it it does. does make a difference on your, your, your Well, your you see, I think quilt Tilda's are very savvy. They know good product and they know good stuff. And Tilda's always a good range to have. Mm -hmm. Is that how much it is? Thirty-one no. ninety-nine, and that's a lot of fabric. I know they're folded almost like fat eights. Are you sure they, that's but... right? Mm -hmm. There can't be many of those left. Uh, well, I say this. Hannah did the pricing, so even though we say this is that's right, that's why I was asking if it's right. <gasps> It's, She's going to beat me now. It's probably not <laughs> right, is it, if Hannah's? She did that say that is a very good <laughs> price. She did say, right, um, on a Sunday, days like this, there's not many people in the office today. No. Well, there's nobody in the office. It's well, there's just there's no one us. here at Hopper 6. No. <laughs> <laughs> other than you. Good to Actually, know. Actually, I lie. There was some lovely people from the other, other things. Yeah, yeah. from Jewelry Maker. Um, but you see what they've the done here is the it. inverse of it, done it with a cream and the blue. Yeah. It's just so pretty. When we first come on air, you were talking about different scales of print, different yes. textures. This, I don't want to call it a blender at all because it's a Tilda luxury, luxury. And I don't even like to really call Tilda They're solids, not. just solids. Um, but these are really good to make your pattern fabric go that extra, extra mile. mile. They do. And because it's a small scale print, if you are doing smaller blocks or smaller mm. pieces and projects, if you're using a large print, you're not going to see it. No, no so this end. is great if you're doing smaller pieces. Everyone's loving all your miniature quilts. You're going to have to oh, come really? on and do a miniature oh. quilt demo. Well, I'm kind of a bit addicted to them at the minute. 
We're not even, Hannah, we haven't even opened all these out. There's so many. We are going to move on because it is about to sell out. All of the other Tilda Fat Quarters are available on uh, underneath us on the website. And don't forget, you can <laughs> check out now and get these in your basket before someone else does. And you can come back later and you still get your PNP one a day. That's what's worrying is that sometimes you put it in your basket and I, I'm guilty of it. I go and make a cup of tea and I come back and then it's chucked out my basket. And I think, <gasps> what's that tea? Oh, that'd be good. I know, if only. Sorry. We don't have another member of staff here. <laughs> we need somebody. There's nobody here to make us a cup of tea. Um, your folding so skills good. are good, by the way. No, I haven't unfolded them. Oh. <laughs> I thought, oh, he's beating me on the folding. No, no, no. Well, should we try and have that? Let's see if we can get this right. So, we are going to move on to the uh, the clover. For, um, roll and press. So, <gasps> oh, it's easy that, for me to But say. that is so good for the press one I'm doing. It. I, since I started sewing, I've never had my iron out so much. I, I hate ironing. There's a difference between ironing and pressing, isn't there? Well, there's the difference in one way is I don't iron. I don't. I Even don't. your lovely shirts like this? No, I have a lovely lady who does it for me. Okay. Uh, Sylvia. Uh, is sorry. Sylvia around? No, no. Sylvia, Sylvia draws a line occasionally. That and dusting. Sylvia draws the line. <laughs> but it's a case of, I think that it's, yeah, you've got to play to your strengths in your life. And my lovely, and they're not my shirts. Somebody else irons them for Andrew. You know, I just open <laughs> the cupboard door and take them all out. <laughs> but pressing is an important part, but sometimes you don't always need to get um, the, the iron out every second. Uh, this is a great alternative for Anybody that, like me, thinks, right, I'll do anything to avoid pressing these miniature quilts. Believe me, this is perfect. Right. Because when you're pressing these tiny little seams... They can just, be quite bulky, Just can't look they? at that They've tiny little lot. pink one. Yeah. Look how tiny that is. And look at the size of the head. Um, you can see how tiny that is. Oh, gosh, I'm really good at this. Can you tell? There you go. But you can see using one of these, making quilts like this, the size, it's just perfect. And even on the bigger ones, because sometimes you can't be bothered to mm -hmm. get up because we've all, I'm very lazy, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Unless I've got my iron right there, I'm not using it. Yeah. <laughs> this, but this is my... That's what's great is to be and able to... And it really, to, really is such a lovely a product. Um, I really like it as well. I've seen a lot of um, dressmakers, bag makers bigger. use it for um, PU. Anything that you, you would be a bit concerned about putting your iron on, then this is great. Or if you've got bulky seams, just giving it a press. It's really ergonomic as well, and it's actually a lot more heavy duty than you think. You think, oh, how much is that going to press it? But if you're opening it's seams, it's kind of tapered, isn't it? It's very slightly tapered. It's not just a wheel that you can press with. It's actually... Um, so, you can see this is nice really, and really flat. Useful. This is quite nice and flat. Okay, so you can see there's a line there. That's not me. So you can see there, if you fold this over... Okay, you can see I'm going to press on this line now. Gosh, that gives you such a good crease. There you go, and that is so, a sharp crease. And it's it's so light. You've got a beautiful feel where you can hide your fingers go on, on it. It's ergonomic. Oh, it's it's ergonomic. I'm getting New the word words of the day. day. She's That's teaching my, me. It's from it's my, my word of the day book. It's my training day today, so I'm getting all the lingo at the same time. <laughs> but you can tell just by pressing down. And I'm not pressing that hard. No. Firstly, because I'm very lazy, but secondly, you don't need to because look how crisp that is. That is really crisp. And when I'm doing this and I fold these back, you want it to be nice and crisp. And But sometimes when you use the iron, you're going to burn your fingers. Yeah. It's too close. Yeah, You've forgotten to turn the miniatures. steam off. And But you can see then just pressing along these lines here, it's a perfect, simple technique to do that with and you can see it just presses all very nicely along there and you get a perfect little crease and if you fold this back you can see there it's just so sharp mm -hmm. I think there you go you can see that sharpness of the, yeah. of the crease then yeah it's brilliant uh, great for opening seams as well because you know sometimes if you dressmakers or, or bag makers again because it's slightly tapered you can't really see on here it allows you to open your seams really, really quickly and easily. I, I know a lot of our guest designers ask for this regularly. Uh, well, when we were sewing quarter, they were always asking for, uh, for, for the, uh, the clover roll and press. 
£15.99, it was one of the top of our list to be able to bring back for you. Really, really handy little tool uh, and a great, great price. Something that I don't think you almost know that you need until you get it and you think, oh my word, how, how did, did I, I manage without, yeah, it? without it? Exactly. exactly. Message coming from Helen. Hello, Hello Helen. Helen. So I just wanted to say how Aww. fab John oh, is. Isn't it really wonderful? Honestly, it's such a lovely community. And you are a natural. Oh, you you're are very kind. Absolutely. Helen in Swansea agrees that you're an absolute Thank natural. You. Now, Swansea is where my grandmother was from. Right. And my, a lot of my Gosh, you are very international. Very though, aren't international. You? And actually, the Gower Peninsula, I've been able to trace the family back 600 years <gasps> in one little village because they owned all the farms in the Gower Peninsula, wow. which was wonderful. And my fa everybody's from Swansea, so it's one of my favourite places in the UK to go. Oh. And if you do go, Joe's Ice Cream, you've got to. It's amazing. Even his, um, the pr uh, Prince William and, I was about to call her Megan, it's not. Kate. Yeah. Sorry, Princess Kate, apologies. Um, she is always watching. She's always watching. Hello. Princess Kate. <laughs> you need to buy this. <laughs> <laughs> but that is such a lovely place to go. If you're ever in Swansea, do that. Brilliant. There's a lot of people, by the way, who are checking out on the Tilda that it could be about to sell out. Fabulous. Now, talking well, of... The one I'm very excited. Do you mind if I just steal these and do these? Absolutely, yeah. We can do the okay? curved pins. The reason so, being is now that I press these into a little hole, I remember that I was going to show you my little trick with these. Do you have um, a preference on basting your quilts? I use a long use arm, the... so I don't. Right, uh -huh. But if you're going to do the, um, the free motion quilting on a sewing machine... I use the 505 spray, but use it sparingly because that will gunk up your machine. Make sure your clean machine is spotless before you do it, because if that gunk does get onto anything, you want it to be clean so that then you can clean it immediately afterwards because that glue can, if you use too much of it, because we all know those people who yeah. Yeah. On a tiny little section like that, it's going to be very bad for your machine. So just, I think they're fabulous things to do. And if you're going to do the free motion, once you've basted it, you're going to need to use these quilts. Uh, what oh, size are they? Can those? I open these? Yeah, go for it. This is the 27. So we've got the two sizes here. This is the 27 millimeter. So these are slightly smaller than the 38 millimeter ones here. Right. If it's I a can... big jumbo pack, though, isn't it? You they really those, are. I think there are 150 in each. So it says that they're not just safety pins, they're curved. I, I, they are. A lot of people call them banana pins. Yes, or something. yes. Yeah. So are you sure I can open these, Hayley? Hannah. Hannah. Why am I calling We've Hayley? got two Hayleys here. Two Hayleys, one Hannah. Keep getting that wrong. There's only one Hannah, oh, everyone. No. And she's lovely. <laughs> you don't know her that well yet, though, do you? <laughs> can you hear her in there? That, that, there that, she yes, is. There we go. Hello. They're very close to us, aren't they? Don't worry. We're, 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 this is our sort of temporary studio at the moment with a temporary gallery in there. Paul and Hannah have to sit very close to each other. Very, like, a bit worryingly close in there. You were here the other day, very, very... You sat in the studio yes. during the show, didn't you? And I, I wanted to tell you who was here, but I was under strict instruction that we weren't allowed to reveal. I was sitting just there. It was because we had, uh, we hadn't revealed that, that, that John was, was joining us yet. Um, but we said, oh, you should probably sit in the gallery and, and, and you know, see the, the output of what goes on in the gallery and then realise... Well, it's very tight There's in no there. way that we can get anybody else in the gallery. No, Paul and Hannah are, are basically sitting on each other's laps in there. Not to start any rumours, but, um, yeah. Gosh, how, how close is this family? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's close, but yeah, it's, um, it's closer than we'd like. You hear all the gossip, John. Love it. Love a good goss. So, let's hold one of these so you can see the shape of it. Slightly curved, not just bent, it is just slightly curved. Why is it this shape? So, I can show you because we've put this on. Now, you see... Hopefully, if you move your hand back a little bit. If you had these being straight, you would bend your... So you can see now, it's going... Oh, let me just show you here. You made yourself a little quilt sandwich, haven't yes, you? Yes, but I'll just show you with the... If you attach that like that, you can see that the fabric at the top is still straight. Oh, yeah. Amazing. But on the back, you can see that it's bent down in okay. order to keep the top layer flat. So when you, if you used a normal, fl uh, a normal, so oh, safety pin, that one. I was going to say normal sewing machine. I'm like, that's definitely not right. <laughs> <laughs> if you used a normal flat um, safety pin, your fabric would bow up 
But ah. because this is bent, you can see that your fabric at the top is completely flat. Right. So, I mean, when I, when, I bet you could probably use them for basting almost yes. then. If, you've exactly what if you are, are lying all yep. of your fabric down flat, you don't want to then be picking it up. So no. you can almost scoop That's exactly. Well, when, when, it, when we do these um, weekly meetings with the, with the ladies, we've got an enormous area where we can lay everything out. So we will duct tape the backing to the floor. And then we put the wadding down, we'd so, or do the 505 spray lightly, put the wadding down, 505 spray, put the top down, and then we'd duct tape everything nice and taut and go around and put these every three or four inches right. all the way along. But again, I don't buy one of these because I know that if I'm doing a big quilt, I'm going to need six, seven hundred of these, so I would buy four or five of these. <laughs> for crying out loud at 4.99 that's it it's uh, both sizes are 4.99 you can't go wrong with that and at that price you, it's the last thing you want is you've spent all this time laying everything out mm -hmm. and then for the sake of a fiver you haven't bought enough absolutely I, I firmly believe buy more than you need because you're always going to use them they're both 4.99 either of them are 4.99 that's um, incredible they're both available underneath us on the web depending on what size you need or size you want I'd buy uh, like you say both really handy and they do come with a, a nice little storage box as well better put these back in before Hannah beats us <laughs> there we go so quilters tape I've got two different sorts I'm going to start with the wash away because this is your double sided oh, one yes. which I've seen before now you Wrong might one. have a different way, you might have a different use for this. I'm quite intrigued to know because I only really know this from Becky for bag making. This is brilliant for bag making. It is basically a double sided tape, but it's not like the double sided tape that you might already have in your craft bag because it is especially designed with sewers in mind. It's definitely designed, it's got a very low tack tape that will wash away uh, so if you are making bags you wash it it will it will it will disappear the other one has it doesn't wash away this is really useful i find for zips just oh, right. keeping your zip in place in the right place without pinning or anything cat obviously has used this before as well because our camera cat our camera cat camera cat she's That's saying good. that is good isn't it she does she a lot of costumes slippers with that on it so cat's <laughs> just worked on, uh, on the ballet she just finished at the the, the ballet She's wow. a ballerina. No, she does the costumes. You could have told me this, Sophie. We could have had a long chat about that. We need to get her on, actually, to talk to her about costumes because she does costume where she's part of the costume team at the um, do, the Birmingham. Do you see Hip how Tray. she's vigorously shaking her head, going, no, no, no that's behind a the camera. Yes. So it's behind the scene <laughs> and behind. Oh, they're so mysterious, aren't they? Um, but this one's brilliant. She's shaking her head, saying, "Yes, this is really good." Inserting zips, bag makers. It's great to just hold something in place temporarily, and it is. Uh, it, it will disappear after washing. That's six pound ninety nine. Would you ever use that in quilting? Do you know? I've not used that for quilting before, but again, because I've got the long arm, if yeah. I'm doing the cross hatching or anything that would be used for, I'm very lazy. I just yeah. press the button on the thing. Speaking of, of that, actually, though, do you but know what? I would, I would probably use this one for yes, cross hatching. Definitely. This one, I don't think we've ever actually had before. Um, so. Just so you know the difference when you're looking on the web, so this the one, one is the will say single wash away. Sided, yeah. Uh, single sided fusible, that's the double sided. Dressmaking uses on the back as well, but so I do. You can see think here if you're quilting. doing cross hatching, you can actually, you can see that you can then lay this out and stitch on either side of the tape. And you can see you've got the different types of uh, designs that they're suggesting. This is not limited to this, obviously, but you can see how the different ways of doing it and then holding a hem. You can see there you could be holding a hem on it. So you could stitch through this then, can't you? Oh yes, I would have thought that. Because no, it's so lovely and thin and you can easily go through that. I feel like um, we've used this as well. If you're marking your quarter of an inch on your sewing machine. Yes, quarter inch, definitely. Because it's not going to leave a real sticky, sticky no. residue on you. It's a really Because also as well, adhesive. it blends in with your sewing machine and you can see it instead of having one of those great big thick electrical tape things which yes. are going to stick out everywhere. Oh, another tip actually, if you're working with PU, if you put a little bit of this under the foot of your um, foot, under the foot, uh, then it will it will glide through it a, li a little oh, better wow. without sticking so much. That was um, a, a oh, tip from Helen. That. Just one pound ninety nine as well. It's useful to have in your in your stash just to know that one isn't the wash away one, so you know the difference between the two. That's fabulous. Brilliant. Good product. See, there you go. Like We've it. learned so much about different products as well. We've got about 20 minutes left. Is there, is there anything else that you want to show, John? Any other quilts and things? Because we want to get to know you. Oh, I don't know. This was the main reason that we wanted to do two hours, <laughs> is to get to know more.
about well, you. Well, we had some questions online. Should we come back to some of That's those? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Because some people had some questions on there. I must say as well, our internet in this building is down at the moment and it's Sunday, so nobody's answering our, our, our calls um, to, to sort our internet out this morning. So thank as you very, very much for bringing that. your phone in. Do you know what was awkward? As I looked at that and thought 4G, but hang on, I've I thought um, my phone my had been on, but it isn't. I took a screen grab and the phone oh. was on, and I was thinking, oh, I've had my phone on the whole time. <laughs> it was going to be ringing <laughs> you. Uh, and Hannah's got a few messages, a few um, questions oh, for you. So, so we so, had Elaine asking, what was oh, my background? Your background. Let's go back to that. So I'm actually, actually, I'm an accountant. Of all the things to come, you know, not really the most typical accountant in the world. How creative! Exactly, but it's also the numbers. The numbers come in really well. It does make sense, yes. But, of course, being an accountant, doing your own tax return, January the 31st at midnight. <laughs> we all hate doing our tax return, so to do everybody else's, I think we'll be contacting you in April. Yes, got to be done. And I, I, I nag all my clients to get all their things in in May. Do you but still I'm do it? Do you yes, still do I've it? I've got to, yeah. Do you? You do. Keeps, it keeps the wolves at, at bay. Oh, my word. The, um, what was this one? Here we go. So you were saying about your background, you were originally an accountant. Yes, and then having had the car accident, just sort of got very addicted to all of this and crafting and then thought, well, let's give it a go. And, and that was in 2014. So you Four. are 2004, Four. you um, you started. Yes, so sorry. doing all these different things. No, the, sorry, the sewing was in 2014, yeah. but it was just a case of then everything else fell to the wayside and that was the end of it. Couldn't get enough. <laughs> we so love now it. it's, yeah, I'm in my studio probably... 70 hours a week. Gosh. And my poor husband, bless him. I don't know whether he loves it or hates it, but <laughs> I, he never sees me anymore. Does he so? No, he does architectural Lego. Oh. And he loves it and he is so good at it. Oh, wow. He made a, one of those Land Rover Defenders the other day with all those. He'd get on things. very well with our Neil. Neil does oh, right. that. Neil had um, somebody made an embroidery. Could, I could bring him in Lego. for a play date. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> He's going to be so proud of me. <laughs> So, more questions. So, the next thing we had was um, when you're doing machine quilting with free motion, but confused which foot to use. So, that was from Linda Darby. Um, if you're going to be doing free motion, you can actually buy a free motion foot. And it's quite important to use that because as you're moving it around, the foot actually jumps up and down onto the fabric. Mm -hmm. So, that's quite a nice one to do. And just contact your where you got your sewing machine from. Some are already included in the in the package that you would have bought with your sewing machine. If not, you can go and buy another one, and they're not that much, but it is much easier than doing it. If you're just doing straight lining, um, not doing free motion, you've got your feed dogs up, just use a walking foot and you'll be able to go stitch in the ditch, straight line quilting and all that. That would work really, so really just well. Just remember to lower your feed dogs and yes. put your free If you're doing free motion, on. yeah. Uh, yeah, the 680, in fact, um, comes with two different, uh, so one which is the hopping foot and one which just sort of glides, two different variations of the free motion foot, and that comes with the 680 plus, which at the moment, I must still say, so many people have been checking out on it over the last couple of days and I haven't mentioned it, but there has been, I don't know whether you may have seen the video uh, of Jane Brogan, who was here from Elna, going oh, through wonderful. all of the amazing features and functions, and... Because we're new, we've got the most incredible connections with lots of suppliers and they've all been overwhelmingly lovely to bring us special introductory offers, like Fiskars with brilliant offers. Um, but also, uh, the, the Elna have given us this machine exclusively in the UK. Gosh. This is an exclusive machine to us and also added on a few more years, so five-year warranty on a limited number of machines. There's a you left with that, I mean, really limited number, they've got five-year warranty. You normally have two years warranty with Elna, um, and you can pay an additional cost to add it up to five years, but we're adding it in for free, as, we, as, as we can. As and the can. great thing with them is that very rare does things go wrong, but as a company, they are phenomenal. Well, they have a UK custom service team but that you can actually phenomenal, speak to. And they sort it out so yeah. quickly. I highly recommend them. I think they're fantastic. That's Brilliant. my... Sorry. No, nope, thank wasn't you. wasn't involved thank in you. any of it. Thank I think you. they're fantastic. They're really, really good. And it's very rare things go wrong, but they really jump to it and make sure it works and You're gets right. everything right. Because they just want happy customers. Absolutely. They're, they're amazing. They're lovely. That's my, really lovely sorry. team. No, thank you for that. Um, so then I had a question then from one of my friends in Canada, how can we watch? And then obviously we know that's uh, www.sewingstreet.com. Um, and then that's either live feeding or it'll be on the website for the day, that day, that's later it. in the day. Yeah, or you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can watch all these shows back. I know! At any point. They stay there, John. They stay there. They do there. forever. They stay there forever. <laughs> you watch them all forever. Uh, also, you can now watch us on Sky, which so many people are, have been asking us about. It actually happened a lot quicker than we thought. We thought it would be in the next sort of 
first month or so that we'd be able to get on Sky. It happened within eight days. Gosh. So we're on Sky Channel 670. Why did you wait so long? <laughs> I know, I know. Honestly. And we're looking at getting on other platforms as well, which is exciting, anyway. so watch this space. Oh, it's brilliant. And then Tony Robinson asked this morning, um, do you hand piece any of your quilts? I've seen uh, machines in your studio pictures. Is there any way to recommend to hand piece a Bargello at all? Um, I would say if you're going to hand piece a Bargello, do one that size because my other Bargellos are 100 inches square. <laughs> uh, and you can definitely hand piece them, but you're going to be there for a very long time. And you probably need a new fingerprint afterwards because pushing that needle through the whole time. What size strips do you use for Bargello? It varies. Versus, so varies. it varies on different patterns. So that right. was a lot smaller than the bigger ones. Yeah, so yeah. it just depends on the pattern. Tony, but, I hope that helps. Yes, but uh, you can do all of this by hand and it's entirely your choice. I had a lady come in the other day who one of her friends had passed away and she'd made this incredible piece and it had something like 8,000 different individual pieces that she'd hand sewn together. Wow. It's stunning, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I think it's sometimes nice to do, we all live in a, in a, in a world where we're, we're a quick, million quick, miles quick, quick. an hour, yeah. everything is so quick. So sometimes it's nice to sit and do a it bit is. of slow stitching. It, it doesn't is. need to be a full quilt, but it doesn't also need to be a project that's ended tomorrow. No. Hannah started your EPP quilt when? Well, I say quilt. Years ago, yeah. but she still says, I don't really know what, what it's going to turn out exactly. into. I'm not necessarily sure if it's going to be a quilt or what it's going to be, but I just like... It's going to be a little tote bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a bit further than that, haven't you? She, she says she just likes to pick it up and put it down, you know, and especially with hand sewing, you can do it on the move if you're on the train or if you, you know, if you're in hospital or anything, or if you're just... Hello? <laughs> Happy birthday, Justin. Sorry. <laughs> was that a reminder? Just putting my silent on now. Sorry, I thought it was off. Is that a reminder of someone's birthday? It's Justin, oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Justin. <laughs> God, that changed the topic. Just jumping back to the EPP, I did a, and I'm going to try and find a photograph of it now if I can. I did a, I designed, well, I got this off the internet, this design, um, but I found fabric that I fell head over heels in love with and I wanted to use it as a design. And, of course, now it's not going to download, so it's going to be really fuzzy. Oh, that's good. Does that work? You can see it, yeah. So I've, I have laid this all out. So it's very different. I did it the other way around. Oh, but I laid nice. the whole thing out, glued all the um, the paper to the, the fabric to the paper. That was going to be my question. Do you thread based or glue, glue based? One I'm of the sew line stitching. glue oh, pens. Oh, I love them. They're amazing. The and we're they're coming me. in. The great thing is, is if you want anything, everyone is really busy. So worst case, tag me and I'll put it on my list because trust me, I've got some ideas too. And we were all, everybody wants this to be an amazing, amazing show on this channel and it's going to work really well. And, and, and the great thing is, is that we're all having our input and Very as, much as so. soon as John got on board of course for, because of his expertise we said right what do you use and uh, you're quilting right. every, all day every day what do you use and what do you exactly. find useful or what do your ladies love exactly. to use what products have you tried and tested so it, this is your community this is your channel we want your suggestions as well and yeah tag either of us tag With John pleasure. and we'll make sure that it, it does get to our to our buying team because obviously this everybody's got huge amounts on and everybody's doing their little bit and uh, Janine I'm not going to Kakoran? Kakoran? Oh, Kakoran. Like if we name. said that wrong, I'm really sorry. Hi, Janine. Um, she's asked whether we'd be doing machine embroidery on the show. So you see, I do have a list and I am doing it. But we will get there. It's just, if you've got ideas, tag me in it and I'm happy to keep the little list. And if it doesn't happen, we'll let you know. And if it does and we can, it's coming. Brilliant. It's got to be done. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Hello, Chris. Good morning. Hello, Chris. Loving seeing um, the quilts, pardon? In a finished skate. <laughs> Not sarcastic. I was. I don't think no, no, it was. She, no, no, it was. It's just. That I think she likes the fact that he or she. Sorry. Don't Not know. sure. Sorry, Chris. Chris thinks that we're just, these aren't finished yet. Sylvia's not done her job yet. <laughs> She's got to do the binding on them. Uh, we've got an offer as well. Oh. oh, you got an offer. Oh, hello. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Fiona. If John needs anybody else to help with the binding. Ooh. I love binding. I'd help. Fiona, can you move in? Fiona, Just let me know when you're coming. How far I'll make some Tring? slippers for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make you very welcome. Amazing. Do you live near Tring or the Midlands, Fiona? Can you get to us here? One or the other. Love it. Because you're going to be spending a lot Love more it. time in the Midlands. I am. I can't wait. You like it here. Oh, it's lovely. 
Should we um, recap the rotary cutter that you use, the Millwood yes. one? Because a couple of so people I are use... asking which is the rotary cutter that you use. A lot of people like to know, you know, yeah. the products that and you use. And what I find really interesting is Sylvia loves this one. She can't use the one I like. She absolutely adores this one because for her it works. And I think it's really, really important that you use a product that works for you. And it doesn't mean if one product's better or worse. No, you're absolutely it's what right. works for you because I'm just lazy and don't want to press the button. <laughs> You know, so Whereas that's, because I learnt with that, it almost it's, it's, it's just become you. instinct exactly. and human nature that I I would my finger is almost trained muscle memory that. to do Quite that right. as opposed to and I'm with pleased the for it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the alpha one. It's nineteen pound ninety nine. If I try and squeeze that now, it's completely it's locked, locked. If you press the button, squeeze, and the blade will be engaged. It's your forty-five millimeter blade. And when and you've if got you a let nice, go, it locks yeah, automatically. Yeah, there you go. So if I let go, then it's not engaged. But if you are putting it down on the side, absolutely press that. Just get into the habit when you start using it uh, to, to press the button. It's easy to change uh, for lefties, left-handers or right-handers. It's just nineteen pounds, ninety-nine pence. We love that one. Now. A more affordable option, actually, and the one that you use day yes. in, day out, is, is the Millwood one. one. And this is just literally you... Sorry, I've got that the wrong way around. It's the, right. um I'm going to, yes, I can't do that. You just literally you just slide the knob up and down, and it opens up and closes, and you've got that click to confirm it's closed. And then for my small FPP, I use the smaller one, and it's exactly the same thing. I was pushing it down to try and get it open. Exactly the same thing, and it clicks again. And that's 28, that's a 28 millimetre blade That's the 28 well. mil, yes. Yeah, that's six pounds. Now this one, that's a great price. the smaller blade I'm using mainly for the smaller FPP, rather than cutting through loads of fabric. If I'm doing loads of fabric, I'd be getting the 45 mm -hmm. mil. There's no, re you can cut probably five or six layers with that. It's just easier with a 45 mil, okay. just doing it that way. Brilliant, but for FPP or smaller pieces, smaller yeah. curves, then that's great. Six pounds, 99. Um, who is the message from, sorry? Hello, Sharon, good morning. She asked John, have you ever gifted any of your quilts? Ooh. Or are there any particular quilts that are very special to you? Because well, I imagine you've got have, a lot of quilts. I have a lot of quilts, yes. The, the most important quilt, I, well, the second most important quilt I've ever had is the one from the K Facet. Yeah. And that one I don't think I could ever gift because it just so much love went into that. I could Where never. is it? Where do you keep it? It's currently in my studio waiting to be bound. Oh. So Sylvia? We'll do that. Yes, exactly, exactly. But don't worry, she's been, not been very well recently. Oh. So when she's back up and running, we'll get that done. <laughs> but the most important quilt that we've ever, well, I've ever been involved in is the one that we made for the, Her Majesty for her 90th. Oh. And that we got to gift off, and that was incredible. That oh. was really very special. So that is but again, it was about gift. the community. It was about yeah. all these people doing it. And I will never forget that bird, and I will never live that down. And I really <laughs> hope no one in the royal family ever finds out about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so, but it was very clean before it went in. But oh, with the little birds. But I just I, I don't think I don't think quilters ever feel that their stuff is very good. Mm -hmm. So I've never actually gifted anything quilt wise to friends oh, and family and stuff. But we've just had a new little baby in the family. Oh, so. you've got to make a nice little oh, first know, quilt I am, then. I am. Who's the who's the new baby? So it's Andrew's <laughs> cousin's granddaughter oh and she is so gorgeous oh lovely so yes do you still have family over in south africa yes um my mother's there and my sister's in australia oh gosh wow you are very international Got jet to be done. setter Got brilliant to be done. um we are live for another eight minutes we've done a two hour extravaganza gosh. to get to know john Moore. Got you if you've got any questions then please do get them in for uh do get them in for john if you've got any messages or questions of course um after the live show Yesterday's will be repeated. What did we do yesterday? Hannah was on with me. Hannah said, uh, how can you forget? It was the best day ever. Hannah was telling us all about her trip to Burma, if you, if you missed that show. She, she, it was a really, really good show, actually, yesterday as well. And then after that, what you're going to see is the first hour of today. Um, unfortunately, then, because it's a longer show, it will end at one. Um, but you can still see it on YouTube, so you can watch that full two-hour show back, this show back on YouTube at any point, but later on it's just going to be the first hour that it's repeated. And then we're back live again at nine. So talking of gift ideas. Can I open this? Yes, please do. Perfect. I love the rose gold. That's so good. But of course with mothers coming as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's just such a lovely little box. Nice gift for somebody. And that, I'm going to um, flip it round and you can see it's a beautiful box. So if you wanted to put a message on the back, you can. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. And that's where you get nice and creative, doing your calligraphy on the back, writing mom or yeah. something like that. It's actually, 
very good value for money to say these these again are Millwood, which is the same brand that you love for yes, your rotary very cutter. Much so. uh, very, very renowned for their scissors. And you've got shears, you're like me getting into packaging. I love live TV opening packaging, no pressure. That's my face when I'm having a moment with my quilting. Can we if zoom into the face know. whilst you're having a moment? <laughs> you're supposed to be my friend! <laughs> oh, do you know what? These are lovely That's and weighty. So they they are really, really are. Good. Uh, surely at 19 well, that's a brilliant price just for that. I actually do have these because I got these as a gift and I tell you they are really lovely. And they slice through seven, eight layers of fabric, no problem whatsoever. I love them. And it's got the beautiful rose gold and the rose gold is such a lovely colour and it goes with virtually everything. And I think Mother's Day gifts, you're, you know, you're always looking for something nice that you know somebody's actually going to use. That's it. The great thing about everything in this gift set Normally, you would have something you'd use and then all of the rest of yeah. things are a bit of a novelty. Exactly. But actually, these are all really useful things, but these, aren't they? But these, because these big shears, I can't remember how big these were. 21 and a half centimetres is, this, uh, is the, the whole size of it. And it just fits so beautifully in your hand. Now, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm right-handed, so left-handed, I'm not sure do you know, if they Do you want work. me to tell you the Tell difference. me if they're right. So, right-handed, when you're holding them, the right blade will lift first. <gasps> If they're left-handed, oh! your left blade will lift first. They are right-handed scissors, really. Yes. But as I said, I learned to cut with my right. We're going to sure We are going to get some more I'm sure they're going to get the lefties in. Absolutely. So you get this amazing set of shears, and you get these gorgeous little embroidery scissors. I just love how detailed they are as well. They look a fortune, don't they? Nice to just have by your sewing machine. If you do hand sewing, really so handy cute. to have. But or also, just nip into your curves. But also because, now just double check this with the airline if you're using it. If this is, lit now what I understand is that if this is less than three, in three inches, you can take them on a plane. Oh. So if you're doing EPP, you can take these on the plane with you. But again, please check, check with, with the, the airline. airline and which country you're going to because different people have different rules. Hands, and then these, sewing, these are nice just little. gorgeous. Now, I've got quite thick fingers. And it still fits. So, and they still fits perfectly. This one's a bit more of a smush. <laughs> do you <laughs> so use a the, thimble? I do, I do, because I'm very lazy and the last thing I want is anything stabbing my finger and all of that. And these pins and are just nice so cute pins. as well. Nice little rose-headed rose, rose -headed pins as well. You've got the rose gold-headed pins. And the thimble is just lovely and it's very comfy. And all of that for under 20 quid? That's it. This is what Can't we say is brilliant that. value for money. So the, the two scissors, for me though, just to be able to get these amazing shears uh, for less They're than £20 brilliant. is brilliant. But it's such a lovely gift box and it's definitely going to be with you before Mother's Day. So, and you've got the one day, uh, PP all day, so I definitely think you should have a think about this because, you know, mothers, check with them that's what they want because you also want to buy something they're going to use and it's not going to be thrown away. And that's because sweet. it's such good quality, you can resharpen these if you need to. Yeah. They're just lovely. I think it's really There's sweet. There's nothing more satisfying than the cut of, you know, oh, yeah. oh, just cutting through lovely new fabric. And they have... Go on, do it. That very satisfying snip. I'm going through a couple of layers here, but... But again, look how oh. smooth it is to go through. It does just glide through. I'm not cutting through anything underneath, no. am I, John? Trust me, I was checking if there was paper under there. It's beautiful, <laughs> it's just yes. so gorgeous. It, it does snip really, really nicely. Listen to the sound. Oh. Oh, so it's satisfying. So but satisfying. even the smaller ones work quite well with them. Absolutely. They're beautiful, beautiful, they really beautiful, are. your little snips. Just £19.99. I can't wait for you to go and see all of the love, all of your fan oh, mail that wait. you've oh, received. Very, I have to say, everybody's been incredibly kind. You've all made me feel very, very welcome. I'm very, very pleased. Honestly, we feel like we've known John for years, don't we? It's just oh. so, so lovely to, to welcome it. you to your new home. We've loved seeing your quilts. We've loved hearing oh, about so all of your hints of your, and tips. You. Honestly, from it's just getting to know you personally as well. It's been it's lovely amazing. So and you're so, amazing because you've been so inspiring and you've sat with me so much to help. You've been fabulous. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sent lovely Thank voice you. notes and everything. You've been fabulous. You really have. Thank you. It is such a lovely community. And even uh, you've been in touch with John Scott, haven't you? Over the he last few days. He got in touch with me. He's oh, I've just been so touched by everything. It's been really, really, really lovely. Oh, brilliant. And I heard there was a message yesterday that says, "Why are you worried? You're joining a family. No one's yeah. going to be a problem." And it's just it's been really lovely. Absolutely. Who is that? Sorry, D. Hello, D. D said, "Good morning, Hello, John. Dee. Welcome to the family." Thank you. I think that's a nice roundup, isn't it? Of all of the amazing thank messages you. that we've had oh, today. Give me a big hug. Well done oh, on your I'm first so show. Thank you. You're back on 
on Friday, Friday. aren't you? Yes. You're Friday. You'll be here all weekend, aren't you? Not daunting at all. <laughs> Just throw him into the deep end on his own. Uh, so thank you very, very much. I'm going to see you on Friday. Well, I won't see you on Friday, but we'll all see you on Friday on the indeed, telly. Indeed, indeed. Brilliant. Thank you Brilliant. so, so much. Don't forget, you can purchase any of the little bits and bobs on the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Uh, and, of course, you can also catch up on the show, on that two-hour show, on YouTube, please do make sure that you're um, you're subscribing. You subscribe to the YouTube channel to catch up on all, all the shows. And remember, the replay today is going to replay yesterday's show, which I was on with Hannah, uh, and lots of great products on there as well. And then also, it's going to repeat the first hour that I've just been with John. Isn't he amazing? Honestly, it's such a lovely feeling when somebody's so, so warm. I mean, we've all, there's lots of us that have worked together for years and years and years, too many years. I've known Paul too many years. Um, but when somebody new comes in, it just adds such a lovely, fresh, wonderful feeling. So we can't wait to, to, to welcome him to the family. Uh, Debbie Shaw is going to be on with you tomorrow. Oh, she's doing the Sewing Street Surgery, which is going to happen every first Monday of the month. So if you go onto the Facebook page, I know that she's already started a thread saying, what do you want to know? Have you got any uh, any problems? Is there any sewing related? <laughs> We've got to keep it uh, channeled because otherwise it can open up a whole can of worms. But if you've got any sewing related issues or problems or tips or hints that you want Debbie to go through with you, of course, she is the lady to do it. I went to her the other day and said, right, how do I recover this lampshade? What do I do? And she was like, right, you need to take it off, make yourself a pattern and was helping me with everything. So she will be joining you tomorrow and I'm back on Tuesday. Once again, thank you so, so much, gorgeous John. We absolutely love him. We've had such a gorgeous morning. So thank you. Thank you for your company. Uh, do make sure, send your messages in for him on YouTube, um, on YouTube, on Facebook, whether it be on our page, you'll see it, or on the fan page and start tagging him in some of your favourite products as well because he's going to be uh, with our buying team a lot over the next couple of weeks, getting in some fantastic products and, and projects for you. So thank you so much from all of us here at Sewing Street. Do make sure you tune in to see Debbie Shaw tomorrow, bright and early again. Enjoy the replay from yesterday's show, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.